Barn Finders. So if you don't know what this game is, uh, it's basically, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You sort of just go to barns and find things of value and steal them and then resell it. Uh, it's got chickens in it. They're very, they're very cool. It's got, it's got redneck terminology in it. And it's pretty cool. Thief Sim? Yeah, if Thief Sim actually, if Thief Sim was, had complete absence of any actual enemies though. Because no, no one's trying to defend you from stealing this like fucking destroyed wheelbarrow, you know? That, no one's gonna stop me from taking that. That, that, that. We're in abandoned properties and shit. The dialogue is a tragedy. Stop spoiling the fucking game for me. Get that guy. Get that guy out of here. I played like 10 seconds of the game. Get that guy out of here. Don't make it. Don't let him spoil the game anymore. Yeah, get him. Destroy him. All right. Create a new profile. We could play this guy. I think I'm going to play this guy. <laughs> yeah. Real trucker face. The dude. The dude. Hang on, is there anyone else? He is objectively the best one. I think this is the best profile face. He's pretty good. I like him. Okay. I'm going to name him. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna name him dude. That's pretty good. Uh, plus, we're never we're literally never gonna see it again for my entire life. Uh, no, I'm just gonna name it. I'm just gonna name it my fucking brand, dude. I gotta get into that brand game. Okay. Want to buy stuff? We have stuff. Nice. Okay. New game. We, they have stuff, Chad. They have it. No! No! Why? I think my rod's about to be shot, too, for this. Uncle Billy as himself, Duke Tucker, Lady Sebastian's in this. Are you fucking kidding me? Sebastian's in this. Wow. This is beautiful. It was the end of my career because the VOD was definitely shot uh, by this uh, intro scene. Wow. Somewhere in America, largely similar to the real America, but not quite 1991. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Wake up, young United generator is down. Uh -oh. Get a battery for my truck and fix it. Okay. Let's work awful hard. Our vacation awaits. He's gone. As quickly as he came, he's disappeared from my life. Uh all right, chat. So I can sort of I can sort of like huck stuff around. I know that for sure. Welcome to my welcome to my boat. Alright, welcome to my welcome to my home. We got, we got pretty much anything a man could want. Uh, we got valuable trash here, which I can sell for $3 on the market. I'm actually going to turn up the game volume a little bit for this. Again, valuable trash. Sell that for about five more dollars, maybe two more dollars. Looks pretty poor. Wrong. This is, this however is actually just trash. That's trash. But this up here, valuable trash. We can sell these bottles for more money, and we're gonna need all the money we can get. 
So we're gonna pretty much we're pretty much just gonna immediately go through our drawers instead of doing anything with that battery. We're just gonna check our drawers for uh, valuable garbage that we can resell for more money later on. More money. Turn on that. That's awesome. More trash. This is a picture of a guy wearing a shark costume. Moments before he was devoured by a real shark and ripped to shreds. Violently. He died. He did die. I'm just gonna leave that in the corner there. Your poster here. Click upgrade gun to change. Oh. I can put posters here. All right, well, anything in the fridge? <laughs> Valuable trash. Chad, I don't eat food, I eat money. All right, don't get that, don't forget as we move forward today. I don't, I don't need to sustain myself with food. I just eat cash. I eat cash. Come on, let's go outside. Tutorial, welcome to the Barn Finders LTD. Get car battery from the car's trunk, put it into the generator, use your computer, find jobs, and travel all over America. All right. Any junk here I can resell? Valuable trash! Wait, that, that, this is just like, this is valuable trash. We're three dollars a pop. All right. Taken care of. Excellent. Is this like reverse hoarding? We'll see. Uh-oh, uh I need that back. Give me this. All right, so where's the generator? Also, I think this game might sneakily have put on motion blur, so I'm gonna see if that's... <laughs> My stream, it's ruined. That's better, okay. <laughs> Generator's in. The whole building should now be nice and powered up. This place looks great. I mean, honestly, frankly, the game looks awesome, like visually. I, I wasn't expecting it to look nice, but I, they've, they actually made a game that looks pretty decent for a fucking, you know, for what it's worth. All right, let's hop on the computer and check my job email. We got, we got Barn Hub, we got Item Catalog, we got Cos... Comic App. We got our email. Take a look. From Mick Cornhaller, a naughty stag for a friend. Hello, Barn Finders. Can you help an old friend? So I heard there's still a naughty stag at the Old Red Barn. Maybe you could find it there for you. What? Maybe ya could find it there for ya. There's money in it if you do. Thanks, Mick. He wants me to find a naughty stag for him. I can do that. Accept the job. Sure. Travel to the red bar and look for a naughty stag. Nico. Oh, Chad, it's gonna be a piece of cake. Let's get a- Oh, I think I actually travel from the computer. Hang on, I want to explore a little bit more before we leave. Look at his fucking freaky. I don't like his face. I don't like it. I, don't, I like his like avatar face more than I like his in-game face, dude. Look at his like, look at his, he looks like he's melting a little bit. Look at his eyes. Look at Billy's fucking eyes. They're like melting a little bit. Okay, so this is like where we can put machines. If I had any money for machines. Over here we have a... Uh... Yamaha back wheel. I'm gonna press T to transport this, which will move it into my main inventory So that I'll know where it is at all times rather than just hanging out in my fucking Hey, whoa My boy get over here. Come on Fly with me Okay, he died and then a second chicken broke like burst out of his body and ran away from me you guys think I can land this one? You guys think I got what it takes to do the basketball challenge? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna do what I do in like the fucking real world for a challenge like this, so get a load of this one. This is this is very similar to how this would go in the real world for me as a thing. This is extremely predictable, actually. Alright. So that's gone. I can't actually get it back. So that's one basketball. Let's try this one. Let's do it at an angle like this this time. So it, so it comes back. Hap. Ow. I do, what? 
That counted! Big mistake counting it both ways, game. That's the fucking first mistake of basketball. Never count the up throw. Never count the up throw. Everyone cheats it. Everyone. Hell. Ah, oh, I have to throw it in. Hop. Yep. Hop. Wait a minute. It's not counting it anymore. <laughs> I give up. I lose. I hate. I hate basketball. I think it's a terrible sport. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hop in the house and check out that barn I've been hearing so much about. Yeah, maybe it's, it's probably time to speak by the barn. I gotta kill you. I'm sorry. That I don't know if that's safe. And now apparently it matters according to Twitch. So like I gotta kill that off. What the fuck is happening? Did I win? I think I might have won some. Whatever. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's swing on over to the barn. Barn hub. We know one location called the Red Barn. Dwayne's Red Barn was a legendary spot among the Americans full of joy and excitement. Now, it is just an abandoned place in the middle of Georgina State. 1132 Oak Mound Road, Georgina. I thought I had a gas. Wait a minute. Did I leave it in there? I saw a gas canister. I think I might have left it in there. Yeah, there it is. One gas. Now I don't have to pay any money for this. Excellent, excellent. Boy, that's Texas. No, that's Georgina. Wrong. Because we're not in America. We're in America. Which is immediately bordering the moon. So, you know. Fucking... Stop being so ridiculous right now. Let's go. Ooh. Fancy production value on that. It feels so weird, because this should be a fucking shitpost game. But it's got, like, weird, like, oddly really nice aesthetics. <laughs> but, like, you shouldn't- you should be ex it feels like I should be expecting it to be trash. The Red Barn, Dwayne's Love Nest. So it's- it's, like, doubly impactful when I see something that looks decent, because I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this in this? Alright, exploring abandoned barns. As a barn finder, your job is to find requested items. Look for other valuable items, you can sell them at your shop. Search for additional items and secrets, maps are full of them. Okay. It's like Viscera cleanup detail, but instead of cleaning, I'm grab I'm stealing from old barns. So let's get let's get to our dirty work, chat. I mean there's nothing but this is all just hay. Not much we can do with that. Let's start taking valuable trash. More valuable trash. Lots of valuable trash in here. What's this? Trash. <laughs> More trash. I'm just picking up garbage. I'm not even getting like real treasure. I'm just t picking up actual garbage off the ground and like selling it. What's this? Wall skin. What is that sound? Do you hear that? They're like, wow. Like, I'm hearing like a droning sound. No one should be in this barn. Okay, I got Joe Manure. It's a big, it's a big item. We'll label that for transport. There we go. We got our first piece of actual value. It's worth $30. We can sell that. Nothing else over here. Let's ride. Unless I can sell this pile of sticks. I don't think I can. Let's go. Let me check the- Oh, the famous red barn! Let's explore around here and take our step- Dude, fucking- I think Uncle- I think- I think this guy's got like horrific, horrific like brain problems is the thing. Just like- Cause I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk like he does. I think he's got some sort of like horrible brain thing going on. So that's gonna be a later situation. I think we'll figure that out later. 
I uh, I'd like to continue along collecting some some stuff. There was that was that a, was that a naked alien with his pants? Is that that did that alien have his pants off? I'll keep. Uh, I thought if there was gonna be alien stuff, they'd sort of lead me into it, on account of the fact that. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me! It's him, Chad. It's him. It's him. It's Frog on a unicycle. <laughs> he's missing some of the pieces, but he's basically there. Send him in. I'm gonna sell him later. It's the it's the guy. It's the guy. Okay. I can sell that. There we go. A nice poster added to my collection as well. I'm, I'm just gonna run out there. I'm gonna fucking deal with this. Hey, hey! Okay, so he's just, he's just gone. He's gone. Oh, so it's a meme game. What was your first? I don't feel like you needed to see that to know. I feel like I feel like you knew what you were getting in for the second you saw the first dialogue of the game. I feel like you didn't need to. I didn't. I don't think you needed it to get this far in to know what you were getting in for. All right. Well, there's another. There's another floor skin for later. What the fuck? What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> Eh. Well, this sucks, but I am gonna sell it. It's the wolf saying, hey, man, put that in the bin. I'm hearing that music still. And it sounds like it's in this fucking silo thing. But surely that can't be possible. Alright, so this is... Moonshine. It looks like it's got like a thing going on with it though. I don't want to touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Alright, it's gonna kill me. Delirium Theater. That wasn't moonshine, chat. That, that boy, he's dead. He's fine. What's going on? Would tell you if I knew. Chat, this is... Look, chat, that was me last... All right, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I took a couple... Chat, I had a couple... Now, I haven't... Now, I haven't had a... Now, I hadn't had a drink up until last night, all right? And after I one sip of that whiskey, I was seeing fucking rat boys running around my fucking place, too, all right? And they were everywhere. And that, it was either that or there were actually rats in my house, and it aligned very poorly with my choice to drink. Okay. But I, 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 I think that we, I think that that, might, that could have been eight. All right. All right, here we are. We got a, we got a, ourselves a nice mint condition pony television set. Just slam that into the ground and have it get, uh, get it shipped on over to the truck. Be able to use that later. Here's some photographs. A nice fucking mint condition from the set. Of Courage the Cowardly Dog rocking chair. Excellent. I'm gonna send that right on out of there. Send that right on out. That's gonna be sold for about five dollars. An um a perfect fucking image of like of a time before all this happened. Hang on, I don't know how to rotate a picture back to face me. There we go. What does it say on it? Was it hang on, was it? Was it? Dwayne looking for a new home. 17th of July. Ah, this is trash. We can't sell that. Who gives a fuck about Dwayne? Chet. Tell you what people do give a fuck about. Used bottles of beer. Let's sell that. Trash, I see garbage on the ground. That I can sell. I do. No, you fucking don't. Come on, let's, let's just find this fucking deer. This is tutorial level. Oh, what? the fuck? Get out of here. Come here. Come here. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's someone's gonna buy that. That's the thing. Someone's gonna want that. 
Someone, someone's gonna want that thing, and I'm, I'm not one to look. If there's a market, there's a market. I will sell literally fucking anything, chat. I won't. I don't give a fuck. I will sell literally anything. I have no goddamn dignity. I, this right here, this right here, this disgusting fucking thing. Someone's gonna buy that at my goddamn store. I swear to God. Or I, I, I'll, I'd rather die than not sell it. All right. That's getting sent right to the goddamn store. There he is. There he is. There's our boy. There's our boy. There's the naughty. There's the naughty stag. There he is. Look at that fucking smile. There's the boy. Ship him. Before he dies. <laughs> nice. The job is complete, but there's still more to collect. So I'm going to keep exploring. There's still so much more money to be made. This is a human skull this time. Uh... Okay. I mean, that's not that weird. People, some people just own human skulls, and this is a human half rotted skull. Okay, I want to get out of here. <laughs> and this is the crystal skull. All right, I want to get out of here now. But wait, sell it. That's almost a finished motorcycle. That's almost a finished motorcycle. If we get a little bit more there. Ah, uh, this is a. Black magic manual. Yeah, send that. That, that. that we can... That I can probably sell. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet! Sweet! <laughs> Alright. Hey, that's a job well done, chat. Come on, let's grab these posters and get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. We have work to do. Robbing from grave robbers? Nah, 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 chat. They ain't gonna catch us. Look at this. We can go back to the pawn shop now. Or keep exploring some more. Shut the hell up, Uncle Jesus. Interesting. Your human specimens show great potential. Okay, so they are just the aliens are just now a thing. I will spawn random earth objects. Continuing the experiment. Could barn finders be the one to save us? Unlocked barns will now have some items when you visit them again. So instead of just passively ignoring the fact that items respawn when you, recur when you return to a barn, they've instead decided to add alien lore in order to explain why items respawn at the barn. They went into the they went deep into the alien sub subplot so that they could explain why items come back as an alien experiment to see if we are the chosen one. Okay. Go the extra mile. I respect that. Get me home. I missed the golden paper though. Whatever. What no problem. No problem. We can come back to it. We can come back to it. World Building 101. Unload your truck by hand or use the storage station. Unload the truck by pressing the storage button station. Use secondary action buttons to place items on shelves automatically. Open the shop during the day to start selling items to clients. All right, let's take a look at all this stuff we got. We have, over here, we have High Five Wolf. This life-sized taxidermy mount features an incredible gray coat, masterful craftsmanship, and impeccable attention to detail. A steed. Uh oh. He's gone again. He's been replaced with Sunny Cat. A fantastic Sunny Cat, life sized, phenomenal taxidermy craftsmanship. It is posed standing on a custom wood base. It's also dirty, so it can't be sold. And unfortunately, so is this thing. Also dirty and cannot be sold. We can definitely. I want to get a good look at this fucking high five wolf again. Let me just. Come on, man. It's really hard to position this thing. I want to see the fucking high five wolf. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He sells for $75. This is going to make someone really happy. Let's, uh, let's throw him down on his pallet. $75. Please keep the wolf. No, I don't think I will. 
I don't think I will. I'm not even gonna keep the television set, chat. KCT 96 Watt 7 u Pony Television. This 14-inch TV set has one RGB SCART socket and one S-Video socket. Plus the standard composite connection. Damn right, Jet. This is like the future. This game takes place in 1991, so it is basically the future. You guys don't pick on it. $70 on the shelf. The nice wheelbarrow. And this thing will sell for $25. A classic, sturdy, weight-bearing wheelbarrow. Picking up your horse's manure is essential for maintaining your field. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice, man. Ho toss that on the goddamn pallet. For sale. For sale. Then we still have this Black Magic Manual, a number of manuscripts from the late 1600s on subjects like voodoo, methods of detecting a witch, and handy tips on how to summon Satan. Excellent. Is someone, some kid is gonna love this as a Christmas present. Chat. Let's hang this up on the, this is a small item, I think, so I'm not sure exactly where it goes. I guess medium shelf is fine. Yeah. Enjoy. Only 18 bucks. That's a steal. That, that's a goddamn steal. I would, I would buy that and use it to summon the Satan. And then we have, then we have Mr. Gustav. Gustav was a skilled acrobat and athlete. He once left over two lines of soldiers heard holding fixed bayonets. He is now the co-owner of Frog Circus. It's unsellable because we haven't finished it. It requires additional parts. Same thing with this, with this motorcycle. Everything else needs to be cleaned. So, uh, we're gonna transport the rest of these into the bin. Yeah, do the work for me, uncle. Do the work for me. Well, I swing on over to the computer. Swing on over to my email. And tell Mick Cornholler that I got his stag. Sent. $400. Which might just be enough for me to get this cleaning station. 358. I need an upgrade item. I need a tool. Beloved customers. Cash only. All right. Beloved customers, <laughs> cash only, no refund. <laughs> you guys, some of you guys might be looking at that, but I'm looking at this. Looking at that runway. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. All right, I got what I needed. No return. Customize your pawn shop. All right. All right, I got it. I got it. We got the upgrade tool. This is very important. You can use this to go up to this. And once we have a little more money from selling stuff tomorrow, we'll be able to make the cleaning shelf, which we can then use. All right. We can then use. Miko, it should work. I don't know who Miko is. Okay, well. When ready, go to sleep at the janitor's room. Yeah. An excellent day of work, Chet. High fives all around. I guess I make Uncle sleep out there with the pigs. While I sleep in here on the only bed. That or that was all a weird dream. Open the shop using the shop side, otherwise customers won't come. Okay. Is it closed? Click on a client to start selling. You can sell to client or haggle for a better price. When you haggle, don't get too greedy or you might lose some money. Okay. It's open. Store's open. People are welcome to come in as they please. I'm gonna be... How the hell did they get here this quickly? I didn't... I didn't tell them... They want the high five, Wolf. Ah, you want high five, Wolf? This is a very expensive item. You want it for seventy-five dollars, huh? That's exactly the price. I'm gonna haggle. To... Give me my money, part. Look, take it or leave it. Wrong. Get it. Give my money. Eight more dollars. Damn right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna give me that high five, Wolf, at high prices. High five, Wolf. Truly, it's been a pleasure. But uh. She, de she uh, burst into flames, so it looks like I get to keep you for another day. High five, Wolf. Uh, she, uh, 
She actually died. Because it was time. I wanted to have a minute with high five. I want one fucking minute with my boy. I didn't realize that was going to be a problem. I used to have a dog that could smile. It definitely didn't. It didn't come off like this, chat. <laughs> It looked more like a. It always smile. A dog trying to smile makes them look like they're like snarling, sort of, but only on the front of their teeth. It's really weird. Hey, you want this wheelbarrow, man? Fucking weird looking like way to turn your body there, but sure, I'll haggle with you. Let's get some. Give me some money. This is a very expensive wheelbarrow. Why did I? F I fucked that. So whatever. Thirty dog. I could do better, but take it. Get out of my face. I need more stuff moved in here. If your dog can smile, it's a mimic. Nah, chat. Some of you definitely, someone in this chat, it's apparently pretty rare, but someone in this chat has to have had also a dog that could smile. And you know what I'm talking about. It was a golden doodle, so they're like, my dog was like extremely smart, which is why they were able to fucking crack the code on that. <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure they really knew what they were doing. I think they just saw me doing it and like the family and they were like, Oh dude, what the fuck? I want to try that and then just did it. Agent, agent. Hmm. Did you see anything suspicious? They said before disappearing and being replaced by this guy again. I have an offer. <laughs> All right. Ah! Give me as much money as you have. I want it all. I want it all! You can tell you High five, bro, if ain't worth any less than a hundred dollars! Take him. Oh, I changed my mind. Oh, you're here for the... You're here for the chair? It's running for thirty dollars right now. I'm gonna need a little bit more than that for this. I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. Alright. Um, I'm still gonna need a little bit more than that. This is a high value chair. You're gonna have to pay me. This is an excellent pro like purchase. Cool, man. Yeah, get it out of my face. So who's gonna buy this? Who wants to buy this lovely black magic manual? Oh, wait. It's time. I'd like to make a cleaning station. <laughs> I like how I like how that is the first picture. Is, um, is that weird fucking cat. That's closer to what, actually, no, now that I look at it, that's much closer to what an animal looks like smiling. That's what my dog looked like smiling. It was much more like that than it is an actual smile. I guess that's pretty, uh, actually realistic. It's more of like a <laughs> sort of thing. It definitely doesn't look that cute. I'll tell you that right now. It's more of like a <laughs> sort of thing. A big, like, toothy grin. All right, all right. Let's 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 pull this. Let's pull this out. See how much we can sell these items for. Sunny cat, come here, God. <laughs> that is actually sort of what it looked like. <laughs> Did your dog never smile with their mouth closed? I don't think it was a priority, dude. Uh, what I just do wrong? Hold right click. To click. Maybe he'll look better once he's nice and clean, you know? Get him nice and hosed off. And now people are gonna- this is something that kids are gonna wanna get now. <laughs> this is gonna go- this is gonna give someone nightmares. Oh hey, you want the uh, TV? Oh, they're selling it. They want it for more than it's worth. Yeah! Uh, sell it. Sure, take it. I could get that out of here. I gotta go clean that sex doll. <laughs> Uncle. This is... This is definitely not what I thought I'd be doing today. But, uh... You know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Mint condition. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Hey, well, hang on. Where does this thing sell? Now, where do I put this thing? This is a big-sized item. 
big wall shelf. It's not fully clean. Oh my god, you're right, it's not. There's one tiny part of it that isn't done. But we're... Hello? Where's... How can the dirt be so... Be so in there that I can't find it? Oh, it's the hands. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that, sir and or madam. If anyone wants it, it's $16 bargain. Hey, man, what are you, what are you like here that? for? Oh my god, he wants it so badly. I can do better than that, though. Mm. I'd like it for more. I think I, I think I deserve more for Sunny Cat. Give me, give me as much nah. money as you have. I still want it, but I won't pay much more for it. Okay, oh. $60, fine. <laughs> Goodbye, Smile Cat. All right, we're gonna sell these other two parts and then I'm gonna move on. Because I can read my email quick while I'm doing this. Oh. Hey, hey, man. I see you're here to buy the... $16, I have an offer. I think it's worth far more than that. I think it's worth at least $20 if I'm going to be frank with you, sir. $22. Take it. Get it out of my store. Thank you. We just have this one TV now that we need someone to buy. Anyone want a TV? That guy fucks. Chat, he's gonna... Did you see how big he was? He's gonna... That thing's gonna explode on, like, first round, dude. That thing... He's gonna be back here looking for more. We don't have more. All right? We don't have more. <laughs> Seventy dollars? This is I need more for this. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Alright. Posters? That's true. I do have posters now. Beer. <laughs> wet 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 beer. Yeah. Wet wet beer. Nice. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Seventy dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna need more for that. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need as much money as you've got. Sure. <laughs> Check our email from Uncle Billy. Hey kid, a new tournament of Miko's Bid Wars just started. Let's go to the bridge storage and win this. The final round will give us a ticket to Hawaii. If you find a car engine there, send it to Cousin Kevin. Okay. I guess we're going to barn. I guess we're going to bridge storage. Hawaii. I love that place. Okay, so I'm supposed to get an engine here. Apparently. So it's like actual bidding? Do I have to like actually compete with AI? Cause they'll always win. Oh my God, this place looks like a shithole. Oh Jesus Christ. Your first auction. Your goal is to be the highest bidder at the auction. Use small and big bid buttons to increase the price. After winning, feel free to explore and take all the items. That's valuable trash. Why would anyone throw that out, is the question. You're living back with the wild, with, with your uncle? I can't. Why does everyone talk like fucking idiots? Like all of you are doing it. Why you guys don't all have to talk like uncle. Your uncle smells like a drunken pig. Finally, someone talking like with a real with a real voice. <laughs> At last, someone says it how it is. Hello, barn finders! Welcome to our special event. 
Miko is the real face of America. You mean this? Welcome to Miko Shop. Oh, yeah, See you true. later, partner. I'm looking for a car engine. Storage auction. Oh, I can, like, buy the storage space and get access to everything in it. Awful long time not see y'all, puke. I can't. I, I wish Uncle Billy was dead. I can't read his lines. They've made it written him like how you write a character that gets like brain damage in Space Station. Bidding starts in one. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna best. I'm, I'm gonna do a small bet. <laughs> Yeah, small, small, small one. It's going for the I'm going to put it up to 350, Chet. Uh, I'm going to put it up to 500, Chet. We're running out of money here, Chet. You guys definitely are. You guys are running out of money. Okay, they're running out of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fuck you! I'm the auction champ, too! I win. Oh, you see here, Chad, I paid 500 US dollars for a bunch of valuable trash in here for sure. And what looks to be like a spark plug or something. I'm not sure, but that looks like a fuse box. Like some fuse thing. Uh, trash. Trash. Sell that tire. Someone wants, someone likes tires. Here we have a, here we have that engine. Ship that out. Nice. A picture of some guy. Well, we know where this goes. Just sort of get this out of here right now. Valuable garbage, we can sell that. Yeah, lots of good val- lots of good valuables. What the- wait, what the fuck? I thought I bought like a shitty storage unit, not a- Not like a pathway into the depths. Hello? Hello? Uh... Huh. It'll cost me $150 to transport this thing out of here, but like... Let's get all this whole car out of here, I guess. Yep, ship it all. Wow, this is probably worth $500. Even this guy agrees. Look at him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He agrees. He's in. It's a whole gas station, uh, pump. Ship it. Give me the gas. They're hiding something back here. I fucking knew it a mile away. Give that to me. Give it here. Nice. I guess I'll transport the car. Oh, I have to finish the map to move that one. I guess that makes sense. This is a nice ladder. You'd think I'd want to sell the ladder. Nice, dude. That's a nice wrench. It's a good wrench. All right. I think we're running out of... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, this is the engine I actually wanted. That other engine was just a worthless nothing engine. This is... This here was the one I wanted. Get that out of here. Oh my fucking god, you've gotta be kidding me. You have to be fucking... You cannot be serious with this. Oh my god, it's him. Again. Ship him. We're gonna sell him. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, Jesus! 
LOL. <laughs> LOL. LOL, I pooped my pants, dude. Nice. Nice. Anything in there? Nope. Okay, so it's just this dumpy TV. It's collectible. Ship it. We're still missing a disturbing amount of items, chat, is the thing. But I can't take this actually, like, nice quality uh, fridge, for sure. We're running out of things to ship. Oh, I see that. That wheel's also worth it. Same with this here. Definitely hiding it. Oh, yeah, here it all is. Here it is. All right. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Come on now! That's right! Uh. Yeah, the rest of this stuff is garbage. Let's get out of here. It was a pleasure working with all of you. Well done there, barn finder. See you on the next event. Miko! It should work. Dear customer, no return. Okay. What about the car? Transfers when we leave. Let's go. That'll fit. Okay. Let's ride. We missed the golden paper again, but I don't know where the fuck that is. I haven't seen one. But this should make us plenty of money. Alright, this should be good. I don't like having uncle unload anything until I've set up the stuff manually that I want inside the fucking house. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Looks like this needs to be repaired. Looks like a lot of stuff needs to be repaired. Do I, I... I... These aren't... These are all just parts of a car. I can sell them all separately. They're not supposed to merge with anything, I don't think. So I think I just whip them out. Auto parts, big, sell it. Designed to absorb some of the impact during a crash, saving you from serious damage to your vehicle and yourself. Excellent. All right, these just get sold naturally. I don't need to merge them with anything. Nice big grill. Nice. $80 on the dot. Get the rest of the stuff on the shelves, these wheels. This is going to make us a lot of money. I'm like selling my summer cart, dude. This is like the aftermath of the nightmare. Wait a minute, what is this? Does it have to be hung? Yeah. I'm like, this is after the nightmare. After I died, I perished in the other game. All these parts got fucking thrown into like a shitty garage at the end. Can you auto-fill the shelves? This sort of takes away some of the magic, doesn't it? Chat, these sorts of games aren't made to be convenient. They're made to make you walk around and wish there was convenience, all right? I don't want to auto-fill the shelves. That takes out the whole point of methodically throwing all this stuff onto the shelves. <clears throat> Look, after playing my summer car for as long as I have, methodical stuff like this is, like, my life, all right? I have no issue fucking casually tossing some stuff on the... On these fucking, you know, on walls and shit. This one goes up here. So much valuable trash. High Five Wolf, yeah, High Five Wolf would have taken it very personally if I was like, sorry, High Five Wolf, I'm not even going to personally send you off. I'm going to ship you out with autofill. You know, he would have cried, dude. I don't think my heart could have taken High Five Wolf crying like that. It would have broke my fucking heart to a million pieces. Okay, uh, hang on. I just want to go through the dumpsters quick and grab this, like, treasure. Cool. So we're gonna... We don't need to upgrade any more of these larges yet. Build these medium shelves. I need to figure out how to repair stuff. Which is definitely around here. Let's slide this out of the way. Where's, like, the repair station? I need to fix up... Oh, nice. Assembly station. 
That would be how I... So surely this over here is repair station. Okay. I don't have the money to make that. Oh, I thought I just destroyed it. I, I, I was about to, like, scream chat. I thought I, like, actually destroyed that item. All right, the rest of the stuff goes into the bin. Come on, Uncle, put it in there. Let's ship that fucking, let's ship that engine. All right, how much money have I got now? 634 bucks. We'll make as much as we need to repair the other stuff tomorrow. All right, I'm packing it in. I need to fix this chair. It's driving me crazy. Please. 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 <laughs> Why is this? This is angled in just the way that it's going to be like impossible for me to fix it. Yes. Nice. Now the house is good again. Every night I have the same dream about my uncle sleeping with that fucking big in the barn. It freaks me out. Because we don't own pigs. We don't own pigs. We have chickens. And these chickens die when I, whenever anyone picks them up. Come here. They're dead. See what I mean, chat? They're dead already. They instantly died upon impact with my hands. Guess we'll give this guy the old funeral. Ah, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking. Oh, God. Just want to give this guy a proper burial. Now sell it. Sell him now. He's gone. All right, let's open up the store. Come and get your trash. We got trash. We got as much trash as you could ever imagine. What do we got in the mail today? Clint Pig Pusher, looking for Butch the Champion. I know no one would take this job besides you guys. Some birdie told me that the classic Butch model can still be found around Quiet Woods. How about it? By the way, Uncle Billy, you still owe me 50 bucks, you fuck. All right. Anyone want to buy, uh, anyone want to buy garbage? Oh. Ah, yes. Agent, agent, nice shop. Thanks. Hmm. Do you want to buy something? Do the name, does the name Bobby Gray mean anything to you? Hmm. No. It doesn't. What about you? Oh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna give me more money for that. That's my final offer. Then get out of my store. I'm not running a charity here. That's my final offer, he says. Is this made by Europeans? Probably. It's possible. I can't believe you don't want to buy anything. Hmm. What do you think about the moon landing? He's gone. Oh, wait, he's over here now. Hmm. All right, get out of my store now. Do you have some special items? We used to have a sex doll. <laughs> I have an offer. Ah! I'm not done. I ain't done. Maximum power. I really want it, so okay. Take it. Take the whole car. Now, Chet. We got some money. Let's build the repair station. Get this. Yes. All right. Well, now we can. Now I can. Uh, now I can bring this shit over to repair. Start fixing up some of this trash. This old fucking broken TV. Real quick. Right there. 
There's people that want to purchase things from me for exceedingly large amounts of money. I oh, see no, you no. eyeing up this yeah, grill yeah, yeah, yeah. for more money than it's even worth. Very good, Sebastian. Very good. We're not done. I would say this This is a... You can put this grill on almost any car. All right? Ah! God damn it. All right, we're making a lot of profit off of this. I'm going to give you this one. Goodbye. You. This is a very nice wheel. <laughs> it's sort of a set, but, like, if you want just this wheel, I can... We can do that for you. Ah! Take it! Take it and don't ever look back! Now you're gonna wanna buy the other four pieces, though. <laughs> the other two wheel parts and the parts of the wheel that let you put the wheel on. But she'll figure that out later, I think. I think she'll figure it out when she gets home. Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they want to buy this for a nice amount of money. Holy shit. Dude, you know I'm in. Ah! I'm in. <laughs> Take it. And you? Man, they're, they're fucking giving me tons of money. Okay, you can... You can fuck right off if you're not gonna pay me extra. I'm not a fucking idiot. Actually, yeah, get that out of here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, well. Time to repair some stuff. What? I need fucking resources. I didn't realize this game was gonna make me play it. So if I get... Why do I get the feeling I need, like, a weapon to, like, break down wood pallets? Oh, Jesus! What just happened? Hey! I stabbed that guy and he despawned. I think he was trying to steal my shit. Whatever, I got him. I got him. I, like, stabbed him in the fucking kidney and he exploded. What do you... You want this fucking wheel? Just get it out of here. Or someone steals it. Well, let's take a look over here. Chance to find metal scraps and wood. Buy it. Buy the shovel too. And buy the lock. See you later, partner. See you later, partner. It's truly been an honor to. Hello? Hey! Oh. It's you, Agent Agent. You're cool. You're cool. Yeah. All right, so I think that provides me with wood, which means I might be able to do my thing now. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that is how it works. Someone's at the house. Hello? You wanna buy wheel? You wanna buy tire? You want tire, yes? The heart of the cards. Ah! Get it out of my sight. All right. Let's keep breaking down scraps around the yard now. Like uncle's furniture. It's all in the way. It's all in the way. None of it's actually hello. Oh, you're back. Now you want the other wheel. Perfect. God, I'm so good at timing games, dude. Get this out of my sight. Take it. Uh, String. There we go. Nice wood. Okay, so I just want to sort of break down everything. All of our furniture is now going to be... Everything basically that we own is about to be destroyed by me. So that I can repair a shitty TV and sell it for five dollars. That's nice. I sort of go in swinging because I assume everyone's a criminal now because it happened one time. Which you know is pretty pretty bad practice for a business, but like you know, when you're in the when you're in the barn finding industry. You know. Stuff can be dangerous. Like that was a fucking barrel full of gas that I just hit with an axe. 
Because I didn't check. I'll be with you in a second. Hey, what's this? Very fast, Dink. <gasps> oh my god. You tell me I can find treasure right underneath the earth to sell? Put this on big wall. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Okay, you're not getting this fucking beer. Get out of my fucking shop right now before I teach you a valuable lesson. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not giving out handouts, chat, all right? And by handouts, I mean I'm not selling anything for the price it should be sold at. If I can sell it for a much larger, more ridiculous price that doesn't make any sense in this market. I wasn't actually going after them. I was just I was just following them. I wasn't going to hurt them. Chat. You know this. Well, I'm going to destroy all my property quickly. Break it down to its base components. So that I have some, you know, nice resources. Someone might be stealing my property right now. We'll get to them. Hello? Oh my god, they did! Fuck! Why didn't you stop them? <laughs> now the car will never be complete. Just take it. <laughs> take it. Don't come back. Don't look back. Okay. I see. I see something. To I'm gonna repair this fucking thing. I guess I gotta look out for like their emblems, cause that's like what explains to me whether or not they're a criminal. I think I'm guessing the only criminal in the game is that one guy. That uh. Is that it? Got it. A nice TV. Excellent quality. Two hundred dollars. I don't even want to talk to you because I know you don't buy anything. See, fucking stop, stop it, stop it. Just get out of my store. All right. No, I think I can build this car now. This motorcycle. Actually, I think I got four pieces for it. The base of a Yamaha motorcycle. It contains an original seat, magnificent front light, and whole steering system. And we got these wheels. Well, first I'm going to build this whole fucking gas tank. Don't mind me, federal agent. I don't have the metal for this. Damn it. What the fuck is happening here? What is it? Stop that. Ah. Uh, let's finish that one real quick. I don't know why it's like drifting. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave that there. All right, no one's stolen anything. You want this TV? Oh my god, you want this TV so bad. Yeah, we can sell you this TV. For a ridiculous amount of money, that is. Take it. Get it out of here. Alright, well that's happening. Let's go build that fucking combination uh, stand. Yes! Combine items to create new ones. Look for puzzle icons when you need them. Press the middle station button to assemble the item. Let's grab all these parts, chat. We're about to finish the motorcycle. I don't see an I don't see an emblem. There's someone stealing my shit. Oh wait, no, it's you. You're fine. You're cool. You're cool. You're cool. Let's get this out of my shop, Sebastian. I trust you with this this collector's item. You're a good man, Sebastian. I still want it, but I won't pay any more. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You've already been scammed enough for one day. He has no idea. That, that thing's only worth fucking five dollars. Fool. Fell for the oldest trick in the book. 
That thing's worthless. It always has been. It was garbage. I dug it up. I dug it up with a shovel. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give that fucking racket to my grandma. Even if she said she really wanted it, dude, because it's that car, it's that trashy. I'd buy her a new one. I'd buy her a new one because that one's so dumpy. All right, all right. All right, we're pretty much done here, man. Dude, motorcycles are fucking scary. I think about them a lot. They're like... I can't, I can't imagine climbing in one of these fucking things and saying, this is how I choose to die. Think about that. Like, it's not even that you can be good at driving a motorcycle. Think about all the fucking idiots on the street with you that can just like, oops, like fucking like splatter you all over the fucking pavement. Like, why would you take that chance? It's done. The work is done. Where does this go anyways? Oh, this just goes inside. Okay. This is gonna... This is gonna be hard to get in. Stop it. Stop that. Get in there. Is it too big? Does it need to go outside after all? Nope. I'm getting... It's getting there. It doesn't much like it, but it is getting there. Just like that. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, good luck moving this thing outside. We're closed. Store, store day is over. Is what I would say if I wasn't going to reopen it just to sell this. Come and get your fucking mint condition motorcycle. Someone's gonna buy this thing. For that price, I'd buy it. Yeah, and then I'd fucking resell it, dude. Again? Can we build Frogo? I'm gonna guess we can't build Frogo. Yeah. Nah. I think we need more for Frogo. Who wants to buy this? Hey, you look like... Did you know that me I, I killed her by accident there. I was like crushed her with the motorcycle instead. Uh, she bursted into ashes and died. Anyone else want to buy a motorcycle? Anyone else? Okay, so that's a laser beam. That's a camera. Nice computer. Cabinet. A, f a guy? Yeah, chat, people were saying we could build that frog thing. I beg to differ. It looks like I need about a family of, like, 30 frogs to finish that machine. Ma'am, ma'am. $600? Oh, you are not getting this fucking motorcycle. I can tell you that right now. I can tell by the way that, the way that you, like, walk around and act. Declined. Get out. This motorcycle's got to be given to someone that can earn it. You know? It's got to be given to someone that can earn it. Someone that gets it. I'm not here doing charity work. Gotta give it to someone that ain't poor, you know? You look like oh, you're not yeah. poor. Alright, looks like you're poor. I'm sorry to have, I'm sorry I misjudged you. God, get the fuck out of here. Get out! Get out! <sighs> Welcome to Miko Shop. I just don't understand. I'm gonna buy the next See level of lockpicking because I get the feeling I'm gonna start needing that soon. Ooh. Oh! A nice sci fi interior. Oh boy, you've got some great taste. Thanks. Oh boy, here we go again. At last! Someone that will actually pay me what I'm owed 
for this work. Yes. Take it. Chat? That's right! Welcome to Meteor Customer. It's time to go to the next no barn. Returns. Barn Hub. Quiet Woods. By gas. Let's roll. I got a good feeling about this place. Is it going to be at night? I don't want to go at night. I didn't buy a flashlight. I skipped buying that because I didn't think the game was ever going to take place at night. Uh. Quiet Woods, the Twin Barns. This game looks really good. I swear to God, it's really weird because, like, they put so much effort into a game with a premise that's so fucking weird and goofy. I sort of respect it, dude. This place is no joke, I must say. Oh, I'm never finding anything in this fucking darkness chat. What was I thinking? Hello? Hey. <clears throat> what are you doing here? This place is under MBI surveillance. Mm. Okay, we can't just murder people. I just learned that today. Ooh! Oh my god. Transport that. Get that sent in. Oh man, chat. I'm not gonna find shit in the darkness. I can't believe I didn't pack a fucking flashlight. I could have bought one too. I had the chance. Come on, let's just scour the outskirts and see if we can find anything in, like, the woods. Oh. Okay, so this barn clearly has my objective in it. So I guess we can go in it first. First, I'm going to collect some more basic treasure in the shadows. And by treasure, I mean garbage. <laughs> Literally garbage. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered. What's this? Oh, I need like pieces to get in there to the top floor. Hello? Oh. Oh my god. Chat. 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 Ship it. A fucking nice coffee machine that definitely didn't ever get made in the 90s. Ship it. All right, let's cut all this up. Turn it all into resources. Use this for repair work. Calculator. Recycle that. Picture of a guy. Picture of the wolf man. Gotcha. All right, here we have a uh, trash. I sh ch I really should have bought that fucking flashlight. What was I thinking? That's a console. That's like a. That's like a. Oh my god. Can't sell this. What do you mean I can't sell? Oh, it's an assembly item. Belonging to the Miko 8-bit family, this console offers much fun and gaming experience. Based off of the based off of the Atari. Read the chat. No, I choose not to. But that was an excellent recommendation. I'm gonna pass though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid that one. Like the plank. Especially now that I know that someone is very upset about it. Oh my god. I can't wait to sell that. Agent. Mm -hmm. I'm detecting strong paranormal waves here. Right. Right. So I got one of the two parts I need. I just need to get like a wheel thing.
blind boy, too dumb to read. Hey, man. At least I didn't, while calling someone else dumb, misspell two. Miss, miss an O there. That one, that one's a spicy, uh, spicy little fuck up right there, huh? Got You gotta make sure you get your fucking, you gotta make sure if you call someone else dumb, you make sure, even if it's a meme, you gotta get it right. You, you walked right into it, though. You walked right into it. Am I dying? Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Hello? Lots of, lots of stuff in here. Make a lot of money out here. Alright. Why do I feel like there's something hidden underneath this fucking rug? Haven't seen much I can sell around these parts in a while. I don't want to cut the light sources. Those are my light source. Oh. My husband is a horse. It's a novel. Come on. A true account of living with and without a horse addicted to alcohol. Someone will buy it. All right. Yes. Set on up. Oh, Jesus. I hate these repair ones. They don't ever, they never pay off. Whatever. Take it in. We'll make the money back. We're just looking for that part. Oh. Got a key to the garage. And the fucking monitor for a computer. This monitor lets you enjoy an immersive viewing experience and DMA Dog Sync instantly refreshes and refines images for games. Dog Sync? Yeah, we're gonna take that with us. You tell me this thing is Dog Sync compatible? As a gamer, I understand the value of that. I mean... Man, having this axe is great, dude. I gotta level up the axe so I can get more resources. For repair. Ooh! Jerbunga helm. Made from 18 gauge iron. Features adjustable liner and chin strap. Comfortable and fully wearable. Ship it. How are we doing on items? I'm still looking for that, like, random. Oh, I got it. It was in this, it was in this drawer. All right. Then we can grab, uh, we can grab the thing now. And grab the quest item. Yes, I'm blind. But whenever I get back here again, I'll have my, I'll have my flashlight and we can make sure we don't miss anything. Ooh. I'm gonna guess the rest of the camera pieces are around here in the darkness then. Which is an extreme bummer. Eh. It's not a big deal, though. We'll find them one day. You can buy one now. This chat seems pretty barren for 4,000 viewers. Ah, oh, fuck. Hang on, let me check. The Ah, oh, the bot turned off. I'm sorry, man. Chat! <sighs> sorry about that. I failed you. I've re-enabled the bot. Don't worry. They're gonna start saying all sorts of inconspicuous input that convinces you into believing that I, in fact, do have a legitimate audience that actually enjoys my content. Don't worry. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. See, look at them go. Doesn't that make you feel a lot more like... Doesn't it make you feel like you're more part of a community now because, like, all these AI that I have? I paid five dollars for them. You know that. A nice microwave. Nice, nice. So I haven't had to use my lockpick for anything. Oh my god, it's him, chat. It's him. 
Butch the Champion. This is a fantastic boxer ground squirrel, novelty taxidermy mount, posed standing on a custom base. Dude, that's a lot of taxidermy adjustment in order to give him, like, muscles, you know what I mean? They had to, like, they had to pump this squirrel up in post to get him ripped like that. Send him. All right, we're, we're missing, like, one item. This is what we got the X for, Chet. Fuck! Whatever, then. Whatever, then. Guess I could listen to, guess I could see the deli- Ooh, this is a nice chair. Red Passion. I used to have a chair in my house that was as shitty as this. Chat, fuck chairs like this. Hey, hey, hey. People who make chairs. Hi, it's me. Guy who sits in them. Stop making shitty chairs that look nice. Make them comfortable to sit in, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, look where you put the wood lining! It's literally in the one spot your back hits! Oh my... It's also broken. I hate them. I hate them. Well, bottoms up. Big chicken. Big chicken. Alright, well I'm missing one item. I'm willing to do like a sweep around just to check like this like the paths and stuff before I Ooh. Gimme it! Ugh. There's nothing in it. Wait, no, there still is. Got it! It was a full toilet! I knew there was still treasure in these hills. I knew there was still treasure in these hills, chat. I'm guessing there's still one more dig spot. There's a chance. I'm gonna do a quick check. On one of these pathways, there might be like one more dig spot. Cause we're missing like one item. Oh, what's this? The golden paper! Eh. I gotta get it. I've never gotten one of these. Golden toilet paper. A legend for the ages. I'm gonna crack this open. This looks like it's actually got something in it. Okay. Never mind. It was cool while it lasted, that box. Anything else in these hills? Before I head on out? Okay. Gotcha, no problem, no problem on that. We came in that way. Let me do a quick, like, quick sweep of the zones again that I've been in. All right. Excellent. I thought this was a dead body for a second. It's just a tree. Mm, no, it's all clear now. It's all clear. I don't think we're going to find that last item. I feel like I saw a locker in one of the barns. It's possible. 
I'm gonna check the other barn again anyways. Oh. Oh, wait, no, this one doesn't help. Oh, it's this nice painting. All along. Oh! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, Uncle. I don't give a shit. We actually 100%ed it. You know what I didn't need, chat? A fucking flashlight. That's what I didn't need. I didn't need- I didn't need any sort of illumination to guide my way. I used my sense of smell. Let's get these all hooked up on the- on the walls. A nice- a nice, lovely, medium-sized kerosene lamp. Actually, I guess it's oil. Beautifully decorative and useful. This oil lantern includes lamp globe burner and wick strap. Sixty-four dollars. This is one of my favorites. Uh, the Mr. Fox taxidermy here, really good. Someone's gonna want this. And do I have to hang this up on a wall? It needs a medium, this is the spot. There we go. He'll be, he'll be taking off these shelves pretty quickly. I think, I think, I think he's, gonna be a, he's gonna be a big seller. And we got, personalize your coffee to suit your taste with a wide choice of options, including size, strength, and temperature. Chat, I've been eyeing up buying like a nice, a nice coffee machine for like espresso and like lattes and stuff. Cause I don't, I don't spend much money on myself really at all. I've been eyeing up getting like a nice coffee machine. Same, but oh God, it's so much money. True, but I justify it by saying I genuinely don't spend any of the money <laughs> I make on anything. I never spend my money, which is good. It's good to save money, but like, I also don't fucking spend it ever. <laughs> I literally just don't have any purpose to usually, so. You know, my husband is a horse. This is gonna sell for a fucking mint. Just chew on the coffee grounds. Well, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I've been using like an espresso thing that uses like those cups, you know, those like fucking buy a package of like espresso cups. And it just like squeezes out espresso juice out of those like fucking company brand cups. But like, that's fine. But it's not, it's not like, it's not the same as drinking it, you know, real, you know? That's what it's about. I've been thinking about it. it sounds terrible, it's not that bad, but like, you know, it could be better. Think about how much I could buy with all this toilet money. I actually think I need to make more uh, large platforms now. I think we're running out of space finally. Ideally, I'd like to repair and fix up everything before I actually, you know, ship it before I like open up the store this time so I don't have people stealing my stuff. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna do it all in one if I can. Oh, this actually goes in the back. This is, this needs to be cleaned. Everyone knows that if you really want to clean a painting, use a hose. Frankly, guys, just call me if you want the Mona Lisa. Uh, cleaned up because I am pretty good at this. I can I can clean this thing up real nice That painting would be Mint condition in no time just like that but a bee Mana Mona Mana Mona Lusa You're a medium size, right? Okay, you're a big size. It's still dirty. It said clean But I think it's still dirty. No, it's got to be clean. Yeah, it's ready to be hung. Okay, we're good. Mama Luigi. Uh, the rest of the stuff needs to be repaired, all of it. So you first. Big Luke fire stove. <laughs> oh, I forgot about you. Got it! Come here. You first. Who would buy this? I mean, I guess if you're like a collector, maybe. But like, 
What a weirdly specific thing to get. Yeah, I did just spend $500 on a gas pump <laughs> from the before time. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe that's what it's about. Okay, this is way too much fucking metal. Are you kidding me? Garbage. Might as well be trash already. Throw it out. No, get it out of here. No, nope, get it out. Put it like there. Leave it there. Collectors buy anything to me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Surely I can fix this chair at least. Red passion. A chair made of wood with genuine red leather. Designed by Remarcos William from Westo Marquis Enzo Blanks. Yes. I recognize this. It's one of his most famous pieces. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's get this thing hung up. We'll buy a flashlight while we're here. Or not. Or not. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Nico Shop. Thank you. I can't afford this. <laughs> Nico, it should work. Thank you. I mean, I think I'm gonna buy nothing. See you later, partner. I need to know how much. Uh, I need to know how much money I have at the end of uh, tomorrow. Hey, man. Did you know that Miko is the oh, I have to actually take it out of the car first. Household appliances with only minimal dents. Get that thing over there, Uncle. Almost safe cooking silver dish. All right. I actually am gonna buy something. Miko. Even though it we haven't bumped into any work. reason to use you it yet, you have great taste. I'm getting maximum level lock picking because later, uh, eventually we're gonna see a lock pick that matters for, it and then you guys will understand why. You'll realize why I did it. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Why not the hatchet? Uh, shut up. There you go. That should take care of any more questions. Got mail. Let's open up the store. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Take a look at the mail. Old Bear Jackson wants Mary's clock. Yo, remember that guru lady, Mary? After her disappearance, her house was empty for years. Now Miko owns it. If you win that special event, would you sell me that old clock? If you find it off, if you find it, of course. Thanks. By the way, buy yourself a lock picker. Just saying. Hey. Hey, man, you know, sometimes you just know it, you know, oh boy, you've got some sometimes you just know things. it. Sometimes you just know exactly what you need. Uh, the store's open. Is anyone going to come in like buy my treasures? My treasures? Hello? Oh, nice. You my want the toilet. I knew you you'd know. want to pay extra too. I can tell that your body has cataclysmic <laughs> dumps. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna pay double extra for it. Yeah, take it. And you? Oh, you want the nice chair. I'm gonna need extra for that. I'm gonna need you to pay at least $600 for this chair. That's the thing. So, you know, yeah, give it to me right now. Yep, sounds good. Get out of my sight. Nice, nice. I think I'm gonna spend this time leveling up more of my shit. Now I'll buy the nice axe. The super nice axe. See that, chat? Your question that you asked before didn't matter. Because I already knew that either way, by the end of the day, I would have max level on both. You know? Call your mom Tamto. No. I don't think so. Oh, I have been getting mail. 
Winnie at Bonnie, mega enlarged now. Do I want to read this? It is not a trick to get it bigger. Try our Winnie Bonnie Energex pills available now. We have more than 18,000 American men amazed by their weenie, Winnie growth. Sorry. Winnie, register online for a free sample. Win a movie ticket for Dog Corpse, a triple-A movie based on a comic. Be Canis, be Majoris. What are you waiting for? Click here. Doesn't work. That's just... Buy garage sale gurus today. Are you tired of video games about violence, guns, and sex? No. Get it now on the latest BAMTA award... Get in now on the latest BAMTA award-winning hit series, Garage Sale Gurus. Play as a city slicker who goes around town buying old junk at a deep discount and then flipping everything for fat stacks selling it online. Do you have what it takes to be a garage sale gazillionaire? Why is no one coming to my store? Hello? Hey. You're gonna need to pay me a billion dollars for this man. I'm sorry. It's a collector item. Yeah, that'll be about it. Get out. Hey, hey, I see you want painting of guy. Oh my god. Okay, this, this isn't enough. Get out. Get out! That's not gonna be enough for me, man. I mean, I could just go to the next destination, technically. Just get to move on right away. I want to check my assembly items, like what I can assemble. Maybe I can make some. Definitely can't make that guy. Yeah, I need another two controller. And t I need two controllers to finish the console. If, if someone yelled at me, yelled "Get out!" at me, and then crouched, I'd be running for it. Yeah, I got into like the fight pose, dude. That's the thing. Yeah. Take him. Uh, Be yeah. kind to him. Be kind to him. Oh, you, you left. Okay, never mind then. People didn't like you at school. I don't even want to talk to you, dude. Where's the actual customers, you know? You might be the perfect candidate for Miko PMC services. Apply now to join our mercenary troops. Oh. No psychological exam necessary. Nice. Bye. You want to buy this? <laughs> Get it out of my sight. It's extremely worthless to me. Yeah. Go. Don't An art connoisseur, I see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, we're done here. We're done here. Get out. Take it. Dude, they're making a PMC mercenary group, dude. This radio sucks. Where's Aloha Joe? Signal lost. It should have worked. Uh. I mean, well, be right with you, ma'am. You want to buy the fox? I see. The fox is a very high value piece. <laughs> Worth about a hundred and fifty. Hey. Uh. Now this is a track that I can get behind, brother. Just kicking back in my office. Surrounded by the license plates of every single person I've run down and hit on the road over the last 40 years. You're back again? Fox is gone, Fox is gone. Imagine triple haggling with anyone in the real world. Dude, I literally wouldn't, I don't think that's even something that anyone would ever do in their entire life. You walk up and you see something that says $80 and you say, hi, I'd like to buy this. And then they say, I don't know though. That uh, Last I checked, that might be worth a little bit more than what I put it at. Uh, I would fucking immediately throw them out a window and just steal it. 
Imagine haggling up from the sticker price. Yeah, like, ima imagine the store owner trying to haggle with you. Like, no, you should be If anything, you haggle down. Like, you're the customer and you haggle to them. They don't, like, just say, mm, I don't know. Maybe I gave it the wrong price. Uh -huh. Just take it. Get it out of here. You should pay more to me. I changed my mind. I've decided it's a collector's item now. I decided the demand is higher. I can make these nice looking fucking shelves. Oh, hey. <laughs> what the hell was that voice? You sound like a fucking guy from like Star Wars. Usama <laughs> Oh, I was gonna give it to you. Take it. Oh, he's gone. He left. I forgot. Sound a little bit. Yeah, sound a little bit like Watto, didn't he? Have like a sort of Watto thing going. I try not to think about Star Wars too much, so I, sometimes the names don't come to mind. You know, frankly, they all sound a little bit like they belong in like Maz Eisley. <laughs> Like a character that like Obi Wan Kenobi ca pa like casually walked by nudging, and then they were like, <laughs> and then they fucking like got killed by Obi Wan Kenobi. Because most of the Jedi are like psychos, even if they won't admit it. Jesus. Agent, can you stop coming here? Like, surely I'm allowed to tell you to stop coming to the store to, like, waste a slot that someone else could be buying during. Whatever, I'm going to the next place. Go. It should work. I'm gonna buy this next you level shovel. You have great dear customer. No return. Thank you Boy, for telling me that. Got some great taste. Barn Hub. Oh, what the fuck is that $2,500 plus? Is that much? how much money I'm going to need to like transfer something there? I think that's what it means. I need to save up some money. Might have to do a second lap. Can you get out of here? Oh my god, I hate this guy. Thank you, Jesus. The house is an auction. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm going to win that auction with my tiny amount of money that I have currently. Maybe we maybe we swing by like one of the other places. It's sort of dumpy, you know. You know? Miko. It should work. There's another place uh, for sale at Bridge Storage. Apparently. I'm going to go to Bridge Storage. Let's see if there's anything decent at Bridge Storage right now. Because apparently there's stuff for sale at Bridge Storage. You buy another fucking storage unit. Okay. Uncle Billy is my oldest uncle. Hey, man. Miko is the real face of America. Oh, there's just new stuff in here. Okay, well, this is $100, so take that right away. All right, cool, so we can just go right back through this. It's like one of the easier ones to do. Free propane. Free road sign. I'm going to destroy this for a ridiculous amount of resources. Nice. We can just clear this out real quick, and that'll pay me what I need to, uh, to finish up the uh, other job. We're not that low on money. We should be able to. Back off! <laughs> All right. That's a lot of the, the new axe really does provide you with a lot of resources, gang. Golden paper. Where? Where'd you see it? Don't hold out on me. Where'd you see the thing? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent observational skills. 
Are you stealing these from people? Am I gonna die? No, we're fine. No, I'm not stealing anything from anyone. Uh, this is America? The rules have changed. Dude, I want that to be the way that someone describes, like, uh, just, like, just excuses, gives themselves an excuse from, like, you know, stealing from me. Like, I'm like, hey, give me my shit back. And like, no, you don't understand. The rules have changed. And then I'm going to be fucking completely frozen with terror because I didn't realize I don't know the rules of the game anymore. Like, I'm, that's why, if I have to steal something from someone ever, I'm going to describe it as the rules have changed. And they're going to have to look up the newest edition of the rules. All right. It could save me some time to make a getaway. Don't you understand? The rules of the game changed. Kid. They're not gonna get it. They're gonna get all confused. Wow, all the car parts. Could you imagine if they're all back and I can resell that car, dude? That's a nice fucking picture of a horse, dude. A majestic horse picture. Oh man, car's not back. Car gone. Car gone. All we get instead is a bunch of trash. I can't sell these scraps. All I can do is use them to repair shit. Lots of propane. Which is pretty cool. <gasps> How'd you get back here? How'd you... How'd they get back here? Alright. Look at all this fucking shit. I'm never gonna need this much. I feel like I will never need this much stuff. Ever. Like, repairable items. Like, I, I, I've beaten the game when it comes to salvage. He returned to you? He only returned to me so I could sell him again? Well, uh, we didn't make much money out of this, but all that stuff can be sold and will help, uh, get us closer to affording that next place. Let's just get the hell out of here. It's truly been a pleasure, folks. Oh, wait, this is a free con. I'm taking this. Sorry. Mine. Bye. Come on, chat. Before they realize that we, what we did. This is a fucking nice storage unit. Uh, you could live in that fucking storage unit, chat. All right. That was Clement. Employee of the month is Clement. I wouldn't give any employee of- I wouldn't give employee of the month to anyone that gives a face like that while taking a picture and also tries to escape the lens like it's trying to steal their soul. I- I- that's not- I wouldn't do that. Those lips? The lips, Chad. The lips. Clement over tomato. What? <laughs> Shirley, you're lying. I just don't get why you do it. Man, yeah, we got a lot of fucking, we got a lot of salvage. What, is this gonna be the next, like, stink? Like, you guys all saying Clement? What? I guess we're really th who we were really thinking of was Nathan Erickson. The employee of the month. How long have we been here, Chet? How, how long have we been here? How long have we been here, Chet? How long has Clement been dead? Tell it to me straight. Why am I selling, like, spools of fucking wire? All right, it exploded. It's gone. Oh, it's over here. 
Where's this go? Oh, it's a medium. There's no way this fits on a medium. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, I want to buy one cone. <laughs> for, for, there's no realm where that, that's selling. That's never selling. That's like garbage. I should just throw that in the trash. An employee of the month is High Car Gaming. I that's like one step off from being me chat. I could be up there next. If gaming is apparently allowed on the employee of the month thing, then next it's me. Come on. Come on. Let's go to sleep in the morning. My big day, employee of the month. If Combs sells 50 subs for chat? Chat, don't get ahead of yourself. Some idiot will buy it. It's just I can't believe anyone would be stupid enough to buy it. All right? I don't think it's not going to sell. I just I just can't believe that it will. Because it shouldn't. You know? I wish I had a means to like level up my place to like receive more uh, traffic. You know? Cause I hate that that agent guy can come in. Hey man, uh -huh. let's haggle. Come on. Yep. <laughs> Big haggling opportunities oh, here. Yeah. Go. <laughs> You're trying to get into get into get into to, uh, wiffle ball. <laughs> wiffle ball. Uh, fucking uh, tennis. Trying to get into tennis, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that'll help you out. 80 bucks for a fucking racket? Chat, you have no idea how, how wacky the sports industry is when it comes to stupid sports that only rich people play, okay? All right. You have no, you have no idea. The more stupid and like, the more, the more pompous the sport looks to outsiders, the more the fucking people that make the tools charge for it, okay? That's why golf clubs cost about $8,000. Uh. Despite them being sticks, essentially, with slight, slightly varying angles. Oh, yeah. New employee? Who is it? It better be me. That's just a guy with, that's just a fucking guy with like, ugh, that's not me. It's a cartoon. Lacrosse? Okay, that's the thing though, is that lacrosse isn't a real sport. Uh, people keep saying that lacrosse is real, including people at my old high school. But even though they'd have a full team of people playing lacrosse, I'd never see them actually play lacrosse. I've, I've never seen anyone play lacrosse. Now badminton on the other hand. Now badminton on the other hand. That was a sport for kings. That was a sport for kings. Pickleball? Not real. You just made that up. I've seen people play lacrosse. Next you'll say that people play rugby. And we both know that's a lie. Actually, rugby. No, rugby's in there. Rugby's real. I'd say rugby's real. Rugby's real enough. Rugby's good enough. Want to buy this fucking propane tank, my guy? What the fuck is pickleball? Pickleball ain't real. All right, Jet. Hang on here. One moment. Pickleball. What is pickleball? I go. I went. I went on to the official What is Pickleball website. A paddle sport created for all ages and skill levels. The rules are simple and the game is easy. This was a. This was literally made to fucking scam rich people. I can genuinely tell you this because it's called pickleball and it looks like a rich guy is playing it. Like it. Yes. I've, tennis has become too pedestrian for me. I've seen enough. I've seen too many pores on the tennis court. I need a new game made for made for the upper class. Uh, 
I would call it pickleball. Just take it. This idiot just bought a cone for $20. Anyone else want to buy stuff? Cricket is a prank England is playing on the rest of the world. Cricket was what I was thinking of when I said rugby. I, I looked up, they made a game for cricket. And I looked at gameplay of the cricket game because I was morbidly curious. It was a big mistake. I walked out of that feeling like I had been failed by humanity as a concept. No, 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 no. Like it was rough. No, 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 no. Cricket is worse baseball. It doesn't even oh, guys no. baseball is a shitty sport. Okay, but it doesn't even deserve to be Put in the same sentence as baseball is how dumpy cricket looks. Okay It was unbelievable it was unbelievable Tomato is swinging at every sport. Okay chat. There are a couple good sports and then everything else sucks. Okay? Football, both alterations, both American and European style. Excellent sports, I consider. Both of them to be awesome. Uh, very fun to me. Both in the playing and the experiencing and watching. Volleyball, uh, up there among the kings. Uh, one of the best sports ever created by mankind. I think volleyball is fucking awesome. Hockey, unknowable, because my eyes have never been able to find the... I feel like it's just a bunch of sweaty guys beating each other up. Because I've never seen the puck, ever. That I don't think it exists. I think that it's like a fucking... I think it's there for like a half a second, and someone chips it out of the rink, and there's a bunch of guys punching each other for about uh, 80 minutes while people commentate. It's like a big, uh, like a big, big mosh pit sort of thing. I think we're, I think we're done here. I think I gotta go to another place. Uh, then there's, then there's golf, and I might, and now here's the thing, chat. I can't, no one fucking watches golf, like old people watch golf, but golf's actually pretty fun to play. I, I've played golf in real life, and it's actually pretty fun if you can do it. If you don't suck, and you can actually send the ball to where it's supposed to be, it's pretty fun. Like, legit. But it is a terrible game to watch. It's fucking awful to watch. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. I guess I'm gonna go back to Quiet Woods. Golf is for the senile. Yeesh, chat. Tennis is good? Let me raise you one. Alright, because tennis is cool. I actually haven't ever played tennis. But I'll, I, I'll raise you one. I've, I've played the I've played the goofy poor man's tennis, otherwise known as badminton. And I'll tell you one thing, chat. Badminton. That's the sport for kings. I consider it one of the greatest sports ever devised by mankind. I thought I thought that this place had items respawned. Oh, here we go. There's a silly lamp. Okay, so it's actually really easy to find stuff because the aliens have put all this stuff back uh, without any fucking extra shit in the way to distract me, so I can just sort of really quickly scour the zone. Now that I have a light source too, I can make sure I don't miss anything. That's a dig spot. Dig it. <gasps> I'm sorry, what is this? Mighty hand, a golden, a bright handled manure fork used for transferring manure, mulch, and other loose materials made of solid gold. Sold it for $300. Badminton was actually played by nobility, so yeah. Exactly. Guys, badminton is just a good sport. I'm getting sick of these coils though, these suck. Badminton's just badass. Now, I think we can all agree that the most exciting sport known to man that no one has the guts to fucking put a professional spin on is dodgeball. I think it is the most primal sport ever created by mankind. And I think it pulls out the most dark, savage, 
desires of any human being that holds that ball when they think about the lives they could end by unleashing that ball towards another human life. It's as close as you can get to murdering someone without murdering someone, I think, is how I describe dodgeball. And I think that's what makes it so appealing to so many people, is the fact that you are sending that ball with the intent to kill a human being even though you know it won't do it. Yeah. You know? What about bowling? What about bowling? <laughs> Does that answer that? Does that answer that? Airsoft? Airsoft isn't a sport, chat. Same way paintball isn't a sport, I'm sorry. Those are hobbies slash games, and while they can be done competitively, I don't consider them in the same vein as a sport. I'm sorry. Blind, blind. I want to climb back up here again, Chad. It's not about seeing something or not seeing something. Right? I just want to see this view one more time. MMA? While boxing is cool, like all kinds of boxing, I don't watch it, nor do I really enjoy it very much, on account of the fact that um, I don't like seeing people basically die. <laughs> Football's bad enough on that. But, uh... You're consciously, by paying and observing boxing, encouraging people to essentially kill themselves over the course of, like, basically shave about a, you know, dozen years off of their life. You know? Dozen. Thirty. Forty. Yeah! I don't, I don't, well, I understand it, and I do think, that, like, watching, like, UFC and stuff is entertaining. I've never been very into, like, consciously then saying, this is nice to watch, it's exciting, it's fun, it gets my fucking blood pumping like nothing else, but I also know that this person is getting the shit kicked out of them, and if they go unconscious, then they've basically just lost, like, five years of their life. <laughs> Immediately. You're basically watching people pour their life away. And that's sort of sad, you know? When I could watch a go an old person golf and say that they're definitely, I don't think, dying from that. I hope not. There's not much, like, loot on this map, huh? I think we got everything, so I guess we'll get out of here again. What about competitive boulder tossing? Always one of the best sports out there. Ultimate Frisbee? Uh, that's not a sport, and if you say it's a sport again, I'm gonna have to throw down. I'm gonna have to get you. So let's not, let's not get crazy now. Alright. Come on. You remind me of that person from, those guys from Golf Story, dude, when we played that, and they were like, God, this, Ultimate Frisbee is a real sport, and I'm just like, no, it's really not. It's really not. Not really. Frisbees are fucking absolutely not a sport. And anything that has a frisbee in it is immediately disqualified from sporthood. Okay? Because uh, frisbees suck. Um, they suck. Frisbees as a fucking item are terrible. Terrible pieces of trash. It's a sport for dogs. Damn right. Am I, I don't think I'm a dog, chat. Last I checked, I'm a man. And as a man, all I want to see is two guys beat the shit out of each other with gloves on. Alright? I want to see people maimed. Jousting? Dude, if jousting wasn't genuinely probably the most dangerous sport that they ever fucking made back in the old times, that would be the fucking most kick-ass sport to watch now. Come on. Two fucking guys in, like, heavy armor charging each other with, at, like, full speed on horses trying to fucking maim each other. Dude. I mean, if they're bringing back jousting, though, they have to bring back basically Coliseum arenas where people just kill each other. So I get why they haven't done it. They still joust at Renaissance festivals? Yeah, but they do it with all sorts of safety procedures, don't they? Don't they? 
It's not like the old times, you know? It's not like, it's not like the old days. Get the fuck on there. Oh yeah, this is a medium sized thing. Armored combat is a thing. Look, all I'm saying is that, you know, the Colosseums were pretty cool. And at least then it wouldn't be like wrestling where they're trying to pretend that people aren't basically being killed for people for people's amusement. We'll, we'll see it happen in real time and I won't feel as bad because I'll know what I'm getting in for, you know? Do you understand? You know what I mean? When it comes to wrestling, like, it's not exactly clear, but you know what's happening in the background. If it's happening in real time and this guy just got his head chopped off, at least then I know. You know, there's no, like, sad... Like, he knew what he was getting in for immediately in real time, and so did everyone else. What I'm saying is that I want to see a man get maimed and devoured by a pack of lions. You know? <laughs> and he snapped. And he's lost his mind, folks. Chess is the ultimate sport. I love chess. But um, my interest in chess uh, reaches the level of when people start listing the names of techniques. That's when my interest in it, that's when I show myself the door. And I head on out. He's, he's doing the Norwegian flip-flop. Uh-huh. I moved my pawn one block forward. That's the Scandinavian hula hoop. I, I just did, I moved my knight to the, like the first spot he could move to. What do you fucking mean? Oh, they're gonna have to counter with the fucking, with the fucking Chinese bim bim bibbidi bop. And that's moving your pawn on the other end, like one slot forward. I, I officially don't know how to do it. Take. take this lamp. Buy it. <laughs> take it. Excellent purchase, ma'am. You won't be disappointed. That lamp doesn't even turn on. <laughs> that lamp's trash. Kind of like esports for Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. Yeah, esports for fighting games, but instead it's real life and people die. Yeah. That's sort of what I'm getting at. Bring back the Coliseums. This. I want to see blood games. Do you have more things to fix? Nah. Everything I got is stuff I need to merge. And I definitely don't have all the parts I need. We're just trying to make $2,500 because I need to um get to the next spot but it's extremely expensive. I'm gonna buy the gas now. We should be able to make it though, because we have $300 worth of stuff there. Another 25 bucks. We might, if we, if we barter properly, we should be able to exactly make as much money as I need to get to the next place. Didn't you give up on the stove? True, true chat. Hang on, this, hang on. This guy wants to buy the golden shit shovel. Ah! Not done. I'm not done here. Ah, nope. Nope. Get out of my face. You're not getting it. Sorry, bud. I blew it, and that means you don't get it. Nice. Uncle? Yeah, this is gonna... This will get us there. Can't wait for VR to simulate realistic death, says a chat member. Ah, uh, same man, same. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I too want to feel like I'm actually dying in VR. But chat, how would you simulate uh, no, realistic no. death no. without also having already ah. known the exact process of death? Let me finally die in Minecraft. 
I want to die in Minecraft. It's time. That wasn't real. That wasn't real words, but whatever. Yes, you're going to pay an exceedingly large amount of money for this and enjoy it. Sir, I see you want to buy this vintage premium rope for fucking $200. Whatever, take it. Get out of here. All right, I think we're ready to leave. I'm not going to sell the rest of it. We'll sell this stuff later. Let's go. News on. Barn Hub, Auntie Mary's, let's ride. I wonder how many people would play Dark Souls VR with realistic death. Chat, gonna be real, yo? I don't want super realistic anything when it comes to immersion because I play video games to forget about the real world and the impending doom we all share together by vis-a-vis -vis aging. So like, honestly gang, not super into that. Don't really want it. I'm good. This is a nice part of town. This is a nice place. <laughs> just, let me just start being a fucking menace. Well, I'm not really a menace. I'm also picking up garbage for everyone. So like, am I really a bad guy? I'm sort of like a nice guy. Cleaning up everything for the town. Exploring the place. Checking if there's anything on the inside of these rooms. Grabbing the newspaper. This place is a fucking shithole actually. I'm doing everyone a favor by cleaning it up. Yep. 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 So when does the new Last of Us come out, Chet? I'm not gonna play it on stream, obviously, but like, I'm tempted to play it on my own. But I don't remember when games come out anymore, and you guys know. Three days. Friday. Yeesh. Yeesh. I'll probably check it out. But I hate console shooters, dude. I always have. I fucking... I have to play those games on the easiest difficulty because my thumbs just do not aim. I can't do it. I lack, like, the power to aim with my thumbs. I've never been able to pull it off. A husk of a house in there. Just trying to see if there's anything else to steal before I begin my auction. Okay. Mary girl! Alright, stop it, Uncle. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start the auction. I missed you! Stop it, Uncle. She doesn't know who you are. Your dementia's acting up. Alright, so currently it's going for $300. I'm gonna keep raising by the lowest amount I can to piss these people off. Is anyone gonna vote on this one? Alright. Oh god, we're going up a hundred at a time now. Oh Jesus Christ. $850 already? Alright, we're going up 200 at a time now. Yeah, I don't have that much money. Uh. Okay, I'm officially at the end of my money. Oh, they're giving up. Wait, no, he gave up. All right, they're going home. They're giving up. Twenty-eight hundred dollars. Hey, brother, it's as simple as that. Sometimes I forget how grody I look. I win. Yeah, everyone scamper off. What the fuck? Uncle? Get down from there. Right now. 
It's gonna tumble and fall and break his fucking neck, chat. All right. Well, let's head on to this creepy fucking house. Hello? Chat, who knows what sorts of treasures are in here, but they better be worth at least, at least $2,500. Or we're in big trouble, because I spent all my money on this. All right. A nice pet family thing. Collectible. Okay, so far this is not paying me very well for the work. For the amount I had to pay for this place. Oh my god. Wait, I can't take this. Oh wait, there we go. All right. Another living among pigs. In Living Among Pigs, Oscar Ellis reveals how his life irrevocably changed the first time he set eyes on a pig. I wanna, I wanna move in with the pigs. Sort of like the jellyfish episode of SpongeBob, sort of thing. He decided to be, he decided to join the pigs. It's a dark tome. I don't have a key to get into the backyard. I'll just keep on. I don't even think I need to get much more of this stuff, dude. I'm drowning in resources, but like, the second I don't get them all is the second I'm actually gonna run out of fucking resources. Uh. Okay. I did it. I didn't. I didn't know what I did, but I did it. I didn't mean to do it right, but I did it. So there you have it. Sometimes it's just that easy. Oblivion, it didn't even require like any inputs like that. I just slid the mat, like slid it back and forth. Like it really wasn't a, pro it wasn't that much of a process. So what do we got here? Oh my fucking God. The road toaster. This car is an extremely smooth and silent V12 engine with its substantial Cedarex body. It's a well classic machine. Bring it in. Let's grab all this other trash around. Grab this. Nice high value fucking record player. Nice like stool thing that'll go as well. It's a lot of stuff in this place. Nothing. Ooh. Trumpet. <laughs> That's how you make a trumpet sound, chat. I gave you guys an instrument lesson right there. That's how you make sounds in a trumpet. Go. <laughs> You're welcome. Now you can, now you too can trumpet like the best of them. And complain about how much your mouth hurts all the time when you play the trumpet. Because trumpet is a, uh, all brass instruments were created by the devil to punish us. And we all fell for it and decided to keep using it. Hey, you creepy fucking picture. Sorry, was this your, like, priceless family heirlooms I'm smashing to sell? Mine, no. Raven leader chair. Yeah, that's being sold too. Sorry, I own this house now and that means your ghost is no longer welcome either. I'm gonna resell the whole place. Uh... Okay, I'm in. We're looking for a key in here, chat. <gasps> a lemon white! Processor Lemon Xeon 3.33 gigahertz 8 core graphics mammoth HD 44750 16 gigabytes of RAM 1300 megahertz hard drive 2 terabytes and this is in the 90s so this computer would change to the face of humanity I'm gonna resell it to some guy for like a hundred dollars Cult leader uh, poster right there. 
the lady. Oh, this is a full thing. Nothing too concerning cult-wise in this place. Just, just normal cult shit. Nothing really freaking me out. Where's that key? <gasps> My boy! Oh, and there's the key. Cool. A good boy! The backyard. This is where all the cult activities happen, chat. I'm not sure I really need to be picking up all this garbage anymore. Like, in general. Like, the trash trash. I'm fine to keep picking up this stuff, because it does have a purpose. I'm not sure I'm going to pick up... Oh, boy. What is this? What is this? What's up with all this... What's up with all this... All this dirt? Just a nice necklace. Nothing worrying. Oh, a nice, a nice, fi the final fish. A cheap but beautiful adult cremation urn. It has a simple and classic look that can be displayed with pride in any home. Okay. Nothing else. That's it. The last fish. Hot foot. Vintage 1940s portable electric washing machine made by Miko in America. It's it is a testimony to the ingenuity and integrity of blank. Nice. Nice. Boxes. I gotta break these open. Sometimes they have stuff in them. I don't think I'm ever going to need wood again for the rest of the game. Then again, I don't know how long the game is, so... Ah, I love getting scraps of spring from my solid concrete blocks. Alright. Ooh! Ah, yes. This will get me into the attic. Is just what I need. Hit me! All right, what do we got in here? All right, fucking creepy. Some weird stuff. Housewife mannequin. Strong and durable, it is made of high quality PP material with every process done elaborately. Some housewife is going to love that thing. It's made out of PP materials. Otherwise known as the strongest materials known to mankind. Here's the special clock. Is that the last item? No, we're still missing like one thing. So let's let's be thorough here. Make sure we don't miss anything. Attic's done. Yeah. Looking for like one solid item and and the golden toilet paper, technically. Nothing in there. I thought that was something maybe. It was not. Oh, there it is. There's the item. The Xenix 9mm, a replica of an 18th century pirate pistol made in wood and metal with simulating mechanics of loading and firing. Ship it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's try to find this toilet paper quick. Nothing else here is diggable. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Nothing in the vents. Nothing in the toilet. I know. 
I get the weird feeling it's outside, actually. Like, not in this zone. I feel like it's in, like, a... One of the other sections. And you get to it just by, like, turning a corner the right way. But that would be... Uh, that would be very well hidden if they did that. I mean, I'm not going to stay here all day hunting this thing down. God, Uncle, you got to get down from there. He's going to fucking die. He can't survive a fall like that, Chet. It'll, it'll break his fucking leg. His body is too brittle to handle a tumble like that. I give up. I don't know where it is. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes looking for, like, worthless toilet paper that I don't care about. Yeah, fuck that. I'm gone. Wait. That would be extra devious if they hit it in one of these fucking trash bins. Nope. But I need it. I don't care. Load the car in my van. Let's ride. Worthless and toilet paper do not belong in the same sentence as a chat member. What do you know? Let's load this stuff up and make some goddamn money tomorrow. All sorts of things. Pig book. Someone's gonna buy that and realize that they've got a thing for living with pigs. Nice record player. Vintage record player. Though, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I've seen, I've seen quite a few vinyls in my time and record players. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, they just seem like fucking really annoying, like sort of like big discs, uh, that are, that are meant to like, I guess just give more money to the company that made the record. Oh, this isn't the cleaning zone. Like, I, I, I guess it's a way to like flaunt your boomer power, huh? It, like, it directly inflates your power as a boomer, is what I've assumed, at least, is what a record uh, player is made for, like, that plays vinyls and stuff. Is this still, where the, where's the, there we go. Cool. Ugh. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Dude, playing fucking wind in instruments is so much easier than playing fucking trumpets. Holy shit. I gave it a try back when I was picking my instrument in, like, elementary school that I wanted to play in, like, like, to learn and shit. Holy hell. You can tell you have Fuck that shit, dude. Saxophone was the way to go. Everything made sense back then. Who needs to buy an instrument when I can rip ass? There goes, there goes the greatest degenerate of our modern age, chat. I think he just, I, I, there he goes. Everyone give him a hand. There's a, we got a lot of large instruments here. I'm not gonna have enough space. Yeah, we have to whip out some of this once we uh have to bring the rest out once we get um once we get our, you know, shit open today. Get another shelf though. This place is gonna start looking real nice soon, Chet. Yeah, we got a lot of large items. What's this? Also big. Alright, well, back in you go. My boy, the good, the best boy, possibly. 
as chosen by the community. He is the best boy. Don't sell the boy. He deserves a better home than my crusty fucking barn, dude. Let's be honest here. He deserves a better place than this. He, he needs to be able to roam free. Man, we're starting to get a lot of stuff in this store, dude. Now time to sell firearms. Hello? Oh, this goes on the wall. Did we break even? Oh, we definitely broke even on this. I can tell you that right now. We've definitely broken even on this one. Oh, I have to unpack it still. Fuck, I keep forgetting that. I keep fucking up that part of this process. Alright. Send it on, send the job item on over. Mary's clock. Bada bing. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow we will sell all this shit. For incredible capital. Sunday. We have mail. Open the store. Let them come. Let the monsters come. Imagine if someone steals the car while I'm distracted. Lake house trip. Hi, barn finders. I've got a job for you. It's me, Cooter Otis. I need that ground radar that my brother stole from me. It should be at his old ranch. Mind if you get it for me? I'm too fat and lazy to drive there. Chow. Poker night soon? Sure. Five gas, Jesus. We got other mail. Dear friend, have you been interested in, in earning extra money for no extra work? Then let me, Martin Sparrow, buy your company. With my established network of legitimate businesses, we can make your dreams come true. Just send an email to totally not a money launderer at mafia.moth. Welcome to Barn Finders. Miko Company has the pleasure to invite you to a special event, the Bid Wars. Here you'll be able to show off your skill and keen eye. See you there. P.S. Don't forget to bring a lot of money. Your reward is fame. Oh, the Bid the bid Wars? I don't have a lot of money. I'm extremely poor. <laughs> Till I've sold this bad boy. That is... Ah, yes, I see you're looking at the good boy. You are not worthy! Get out! Hey. Ah. The first haggle is important. Take it. Go. Goodbye. Unworthy! He's worth at least 150, chat. At least 150. Come on. That's a painting that fucking... You take that home and you put that in the middle of your fucking living room. And you put it on the TV screen. Hey! Hey! I stab him in the neck. Someone want to buy the car? Oh, you want to buy it for extra, huh? Well, I'll see how much more extra we can yeah, get it for. Get out. Go. Excellent work, me. Bringing a lot of money on this one. Man, I'm getting really good at haggling. Good. Sounds good. I'm going to start hanging up some posters while we're doing this. A good horse there. Hamster in the vacuum cleaner. Okay, this isn't going to be going. He wants to buy the pig book. No, fuck it, dude. Just get it out of my store. Honestly, I think it's cursed. Go. 
Take it. Hello, my and you? Lad. Oh, no, my yeah, we'll sell you this. Get it out. Bye -bye, Take it. Take it. Okay, I've accidentally walked away too quick and he thought I hated him. No one's bought any. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Still got one more large thing to sell. And I think we have enough for the computer now. Lemon arc. No, we don't have a keyboard. Fuck. So I want to buy something in here. I'm going to start throwing down the stuff for the keyboard, though. Yeah, we need a keyboard still. Short one of the pieces of the project. Hey! I want to come in here and buy stuff, or... There we go. I just accidentally sold you that for free. No! Oh, well. Why do I feel like I'm getting my fucking channel shut down by this game? Like, I don't recognize these songs, but it scares me. It's like really scary. You know? Because I definitely don't recognize any of the songs that I've played so far. But I don't want to be fucking destroyed, you know? It's like Sim songs. Yeah, I know, but it's like, but what if it's not? <laughs> I at least want to play ones with like instrumentals because they're a little bit less recognizable if it was the case than like one that has very clear vocals. Ah, yes, you want to buy the good boy for extra, huh? How much extra? Because he's a very good boy. No, no, no. $101. Ah, fine. $101 is pretty good. I'm sorry, Luna the dog. Goodbye. We got a lot of money. I think we go to the next... I don't think we do the bid war yet. I think we go to the next barn. I think we go to the Otis Ranch first. Get the stuff there. Then double back. Alright. Then we double back and do the bid war once we have like a ridiculous amount of money. You know? I don't want to make any mistakes. What's this game about? Making money. Piece of cake. There's a lot of people living here, huh? Otis's Ranch, true American legacy. Here we are. Welcome to Miko Shop. Thank you. you can tell you, dear customer. Don't talk to me. I don't want to know whatever you had to say. All right, chat. Lots of range to dig things up, I reckon, on this one. Something blocks the door. Hey! Son of a bitch, he's doing aerobic exercises in there. We'll see about that. Hey, man. Oh, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Gazumba! There it is! Oh, well. Gazumba. I'm just here for the, I'm just here for the fucking fishing rod, dude. That's a nice fishing rod. All right, this is a nice chair. I'm also taking that. Gazumba. I would I would say I wasn't expecting that, but there was an alien dancing in the other room doing aerobic exercises. Hey, man. Thief, I am scared to explore that island. What island? A lot of people went missing there. Okay. What you... Well, I'm not scared of anything. All right. Ooh. Yo, what the fuck? Circus base. Send it. 
That's going right into the fucking thing. Ship it. That goes with the fucking frogs. That's the frog circus. Yeah, let's go into the creepy fucking basement. We have to lockpick our way in, I reckon. Use the axe. Okay. Never mind, I just have to break my way in. Am I going to die? There's no way. What? This game doesn't have death. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, but I'm still scared. Fuck it! <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Takes a little bit more than that to kill old me. I've got redneck fortitude. Ah, yes. <clears throat> There's another human skull in here. We're here for the golden destiny, though. Which is now slightly rusty. I don't see anything of real value in this place, though. We need all these strings, though. The strings are actually, like, we don't have that many of them yet. Alright. Okay. What's this? What's this? Something. Gotta use your eyes, Chad. It's like a scavenger hunt. That was a camera reel. One step closer. To having every fucking item in the game. Something blocks the door. Son of a bitch. This door then? Maybe that key is under the carpet. Thanks, spoiler, uh, uncle. You fucking guy. Jesus. You remind me of chat. And I hate chat. Oh, here's where the keyboard for the computer was. Was expecting a jump scare when I look, turned on the flashlight in there, dude. Ninja? Wait, that's not, that's, he's got purple hair. Uh, for a second I thought it was a picture of value. But it was just someone else. All right. Fuck it. All right. Got it. I mean, what do we got? I love this fucking mask. I would, I would buy this in the real world. I would. I would. Like flaccid cock nose, Squidward sorta, but not really. Fertility mask. A rare tribal mask. It is carved in hardwood and hand-painted. Yes. Hey! The land of America, your homeland. Anything else? Sometimes these boxes have stuff in it, I swear to god. That's why I'm breaking them sometimes. Am I- is this really what I'm up to? Am I gonna like steal this guy's satellite? No. I'm on the roof, though. Oh. <laughs> That's what we do it for, baby. We do it for that nice TP. There's probably a frisbee up there. Don't talk like that. Don't be. Don't try to be funny. All right. Frisbees aren't real. God, what a shitty item. What a shitty tool. I, I, chat. Maybe my problem is that I've never been able to throw a frisbee properly in my entire life. And everyone always my ball, a plastic ball made from superior quality material, ideal for use in ball pits, uh, games in the garden, or on the beach. That's my ball. I don't think I've ever been able to throw a frisbee properly, is the problem. Um, every single time I throw it, I either throw it wide or like, you know what I mean, like left or right of them, super far. 
But it's not my fault. It's because uh, they're not in the right spot. Ever. They don't ever fucking predict where I'm trying to go. You know? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Fuck. Give me this. That's an extremely valuable vase. All right, chat. We got to go into the creepy alien boathouse in a second. As soon as I'm done stealing this fucking washing machine. All right. To the spooky alien boathouse. In one more second, I got to clear out the kitchen. I just got to keep stop. I, I shit my pants every single time I crouch. God damn, dude. Think about... Has anyone ever had their pants, like, fucking tear? Like, whenever they, when they've crouched, like, their pants just fucking rip? No? Someone, surely. Yes. No fatty. I I'm not saying it's me. I'm also not saying that it necessarily means you have to be fat. But, um... Dude, that's gotta suck. That knife set's definitely being sold by me. Come on, give it here. Yep. I knew it. Now I'll be taking that. All right. Key's on the bottom. I'll use the key on the bottom side. Hello? Oh. I think the game actually wants me to go on that island, chat. The creepy island that it was talking about seems it actually wants me to go out there. For real. Let me just check up here first. Right. Free gas. There's got to be, like, delirium moonshine around here, then. There it is. One more swig never hurt anyone. This shit's so ill with me. Keeps me going. I see. Yes, it all makes sense now. One of the two sacred console controllers. Alright. You look sad. Do not worry. Just drink moonshine. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Across the lake to the island. Alright, uncle. You stay here. This is a dangerous place. Yeah, I want to take the side path first. Okay, that was an epic path. All right, let's go. Hello? Real quiet island. Not a lot going on around here. Just a lot of dirt. Grime. It looks to be a corpse buried in the dirt. It was actually nothing. Sorry, I was fooling you guys. Doing a little one of my classic pranks. My little bamboozles, you know. Uh, here we have a... Fucking treasure chest! I'll be coming in there. Don't mind if I do. We are to the cave guardians. Why did it talk to me? I don't like that. I can. Yes. T yes.
I'm actually incredibly claustrophobic, chat. That would freak me out in the real world. That'd make me, like, immediately start, like, throwing up everywhere. Alright, so that was one of the cave- Oh. Beholdeth thou art welcometh here. Findeth our coarse parts, mortal. Mortal. <laughs> mortal. Mortal. Yes, master. Our power is beyond mortal. Hey, we like raw meat. Oh, nice. Our course is completed. We are done. We thanketh thee, barn finders. Thurs. May the fusty ones illuminate thy journey. I remember when this was a game about barns. Oh, it's like a tomb diving game. I mean, I'm I'm down. I'm not opposed to it. I guess I don't know what I was expecting getting into it, you know. I like being curveballed. Ah, uh, yes, these of course are boulders of wood. Just so we're all on the same page. What's this? It's like all these symbols. Square? Oh, that's a dead guy. That's a dead guy. That's a corpse. There. On that one. Okay. I died. I drowned. Oh. Oh, you want me to jump on the things? Square? Hang on. Plus square. Weird arrows. Moon. I've got very powerful fucking, I've got very powerful legs. Plus, square. Oh yeah! Guys, my legs are far too powerful to make that pathetic jump. Give it to me, now. Ship it. Then it was this one. Then it was moon. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, barn finders. I hate you. The sacred tiki. Oh, wait. Huh. Nice. This place has power. I didn't realize. There's still more stuff over here, though. The ostrich. Send it. You know, just over here desecrating tombs. You know how it is, chat. You know how it is. When you're rich. You lose all respect for those who came before you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna check and see if there's anything else on this island before I go my merry way. Because there are a couple items, apparently. But if there's anything here, it's probably buried with, like, shovel. Is what I'm gonna guess. So, uh... Probably something down this way. Yeah, we haven't been to this yet. Perfect, this is new. Yes, how much stuff are you hiding in here for me, though? Give me, hook me up. Oh, I destroyed the whole tent. Jesus. Oh, this isn't actually an item. What the fuck? That was like a telescope, like, base. Really? There's nothing out here for me? Nah. No, there is. There is. Give it here. Give it here! I knew. Chet. I knew. The rest of you were fucking doubting. You were doubting. I saw you. I saw you. Doubting. I never doubted. I'm never doubting. Alright. Give me something! You little bitch! Alright, whatever. I don't if there was something in it, it would give it to me and that would that would contribute to the to the thing. So it's definitely I'm not going it's not it's not like I'm getting ripped off on these. There's just nothing in them to begin with. Sorry, I got a little bit toxic there, Chad. Wasn't my fault. The game keeps pushing me. Pushing my buttons. And I feel like I earned a win on this level and I'm getting sort of ripped off by not getting it. I don't think there's anything else on this island. Oh. One last. One last dig. Alright. Getting scammed hard on these digs. If it's a dig spot on this island, I'm just not getting it. I'm never gonna find it. Get me out of here. Hat by switch, not sure if you could pick it up. Oh my god. You mean this switch? <gasps> James Fuerte? This hat is a great choice for the budget conscious shoppers who's looking for a style, the notorious look. All right, we need one more thing. I think, I feel, I get the weird feeling it's a dig spot, which worries me. Cause uh, that'd mean we barely missed it or something. So fingers crossed it's not. And it's instead something that I can just casually find by exploring here. The totems? I can't just rip the totems back out. They thanked me for my work. Chat, I can't just fucking get them. I can't just be like, oh, fuck you now. And, like, get them. Okay? We're buds. We're bros. They're my homeboys. My main squeezes, alright? I'm not gonna just go over there and kill them. Because they'll die if I separate them from the ground again. Alright? But it's the American way. You're right, you're right. But even still. Yeah, there's nothing out here. Money, though. True, there is money. Money is a good... Money's a, a good thing to have. I might go back and check one more time. But first, I'm gonna check this house. One, just to be sure. I'm gonna check the main house one time. Cave puzzle? Chat. The cave puzzle was literally what I did, which was getting by it. <laughs> I think you're overthinking uh, the cave puzzle a little bit. 
the puzzle was genuinely just to get by the puzzle. Here it is. You guys are, you guys are fucking clowns. Alright, let's go. You missed a symbol, you missed this, you missed that, you missed this, you suck. Oh yeah? Tomato, what is your ideal kind of pizza? Pesto chicken. Pesto chicken. Like a good amount of spinach on it. That's a good fucking pizza. If we're talking like fucking normal, normal kind of pizza. If we're talking like deep dish, classic cheese pep, cheese pep sauce. In that order. Don't get it twisted. I mean, literally, cheese, crust, the bread, cheese, pep, sauce. All right. Someone said, ew, deep dish. Oh my God. Chat. I've never banned someone for an opinion before, but I'm thinking about it tonight. I'm thinking about finally stepping, stepping up and banning people based on their opinions in Twitch chat. Deep dish sucks. Then I guess you had bad deep dish, bud. What do you, what's, all right, that's it. Big quits. I saw your name go by. You said, I hate deep dish. I want your exact fucking explanation as to why. Let's go. You and me. Explain to me why it sucks. What, what do you not like about it? I'm curious. I need to know. I need to know. I don't think I'm going to see their message when they answer. If they ever do. It's soup pizza. All right, bud, you had bad deep dish. That's how you describe that. That, that. that I can explain to you right away. If it's soup pizza, you had bad deep dish pizza. You had shitty deep dish. <laughs> oh my God. I think you ordered soup with, uh, I think you ordered soup with fucking bread for the bowl then. Like that. Uh, Dang. Good deep dish holds its shape to a certain extent. You shouldn't say it's soup if you had a good deep dish pizza. I'm gonna just have all the stuff sent over here and go from there. I think he meant pasta. Dude, I just like, Deep dish, if you get good deep dish, it's so good. I'm not talking some dumpy fucking like chain brand. Like don't go, don't go to Uno's and say, hi, I want deep dish pizza. Cause they're gonna give you trash. They're gonna give you garbage that they peeled out the back. I'm talking good fucking pizza from a good like pizza place. Deep dish. All right, the hell is Uno's. What? Uno's was great before they shut down. What do you mean, shut down? They're still over here shoveling their shit. <laughs> they never shut down. They're, you take them. Take them if you want. Because they never left over here. They're still shoveling their horse shit. Uno is disgusting. Yeah. They really are. Oh my god, look at the face. I love the face. I love the face. Oh, this has to be home. There we go. Boone is here? What do you mean Boone's here is a time? At last, Boone. It's time. For the for the great demodding of everyone in my community, that's a mod being sent to the VIP pits instead. It's time. I pull pulling the bandaid off. Wait! No, there is no waiting. It's already over. I'm sorry. 
We don't have space to sell that. It's over as fast as it began. I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel it coming, but I don't feel like I need to mute yet, but I know it's coming. Oh no. It escaped. This is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. No. <laughs> no. How big is this? This is a large. Put it back. Uh, let's repair this thing. Let's get this. Let's get this painting repaired. I I can repair paintings. I I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, hit it with your hammer. This is how Mike. This is how Leonardo da Vinci made his beautiful pieces. He uh, would grab it, slam it with a fucking hammer until until those nice fucking lines were visible. You know. I'm gonna start putting together the computer. I think we have all the parts for it now. That computer's gonna sell like fucking hotcakes. Mouse first. The most valuable part of the computer is the mouse. For it controls the beast. Ain't that just statues, though? God! Here he fucking goes again, chat. We all know this guy. Everyone knows this guy. Here he fucking goes again. I didn't want this. This guy, dude. Here he is again. I use keyboard shortcuts instead of a mouse. Why? I can I use keyboard shortcuts for a lot of stuff, but the mouse the mouse is necessary. Unless you're using like a Linux, at which point God fucking save your soul is all I have to stay instead, because holy hell. Um holy fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. Alright, that's my take on that one. Though some Linux versions are doable. Am I being scammed? There you go. That's a finished PC. Someone's gonna buy this bad boy. We'll put it in the soon to be put on the shelves corner. This is where I'm gonna put all my like fucking garbage. That's ready to go on shelves, but does, there's no space, you know? Get this fucking gigantic ass washing machine repaired. No. no. All right. Huck it in the fucking repair repaired ready items pile. Someone's gonna steal this stuff. Come on. I can guarantee it. A small knife. Set. The police arrested several young ladies earlier this day for indecent behavior and endangering other drivers. The women were standing on the side of the road during rush hours and they were twerking at the passing vehicles. Two car crashes occurred. They all died. No one survived. No one survived, chat. Don't laugh. It was a bloodbath. Chat. Uh this is a this is a big piece. Small. This goes up on the big wall. Nice. Almost everything is up. We got a ton of stuff from that trip is the thing, so. Trying to make sure I, you know, don't miss anything. Okay, that's everything. Let's go to sleep. When we wake up in the morning, we're going to make some big money chat, and then we're going to that fucking auction. I might order some pizza chat. This might be a, this might be a za night for me at the end of all this. 
I'm not even- I'm not fucking around. We might be approaching a Zaw Knight. Deep pan Zaw? Nah, there's no good deep dish Zaw places around me, unfortunately. Nothing that- nothing that would deliver. And, um, the nearest actual deep dish place that serves deep dish on delivery is- Oh no. And I'm not fucking doing that. I would, uh, I'd rather spend my money elsewhere. Uh, like a good, really good, normal pizza place. You know? Hey! Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, give me that! Get out of here! Who's gonna steal the fucking duck? You want the horny mask? You want the fertility mask? Take it. We have so much stuff to sell, like, just take whatever you want. Oh, I should sell the, uh, the objective thing now. There you go. Oh boy, remember that crazy witch? Fronty Woods? Her house belongs to Miko. And now it's on a special event. Remember that weirdo Cletus? He and Moses bang there. He had Moses bang there? A Moses bang. You mean, what the fuck is that? Did he fuck someone named Moses? Or did he have a ba like a party featuring or like about Moses the religious figure from the past? Fancy to help an old friend. I All I see is that I think that's Moses Bang, and it's actually a crocodile with a gun. So that is pretty rad. I'm gonna do that eventually. Evil Swamp is what it's called. It costs $5,000. This place is starting to get a little expensive. Anyone wanna buy my stuff? Anyone want to buy my stuff? I got a bunch of garbage for sale. Yeah, you want to buy that stuff. <laughs> want to buy the nice Indiana Jones hat. The James Fuerte. <laughs> yeah, give me, my, give me your money. Give me your money. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, give me all your money for this one, motherfucker! Be gone! Once I make all this money... If you ever find yourself in Chicago and you dig into Deep Dish, check out either G Giordano's or Lou Malnati's. Dude, Lou, Lou Malnati's pizzas are great even in freeze-fried, like, freeze-dried form. Like, the, the, no, not freeze-dried, but, like, fucking, hey. Sometimes I get their pizzas, the, the flash-frozen ones from them still. They come out really good in the oven. It's really surprising, actually. Be gone. They're not in the freezer section. You have to, like, order them delivered. You have to have them delivered, but they're, like... They're like frozen with, you want this ball for $33, I'll so just take it. They're pretty good. DiGiorno's is the best frozen pizza. Alright, uh, I think you mean, is basically poison. Um, I feel like I should vomit for you, for all the times that you thought that it was good. Oh my god. It's not delivery. It, I, it damn well better not be. If I got that shit for delivery, I would fucking throw it in the goddamn pizza boy's face. That's a fucking. That is a filthy fucking opinion. There are some really good pizzas that you can get that are like frozen, like you know, stay frozen. And you're supposed to, you know, you know, eat like that. Like a really good pizza if it's actually in like a store near you. I quite enjoy these Vermont flatbread pizzas. They're pretty light. They're base. They're essentially they're very light on ingredients on the top. To be fair, they're very good though. Vermont flatbread pizzas. If, you can, if they're if they're sold in your convenience store of choice, they are pretty good. Tomato gaslighting DiGiorno's is great. 
What do you mean gaslighting? No, it just sucks. What do you fucking mean? It's just dumpy. It's just a shitty fucking pizza. I'm not gaslighting shit. It sucks. There's no mind game here. It's just a really bad fucking pizza. Pizza bagels are number one. Those don't count as fucking pizza, though. Those are just bagels with, like, the condiments of pizza on them. They're okay, but they're not, like, a pizza. They don't fit in the... I'm not gonna fucking walk up to some guy and say, Hey, man, your pizza that you spent, like, your entire life perfecting this big fucking restaurant you have, pour your life, heart, and soul into is pretty good. Yeah. It is. It's not as good as fucking bagel pizza bites, though, you fucking idiot. I can't believe you'd even waste the time. This is pathetic. I'd rather be eating my bagel pizza bites. Go to fucking jail. You've done a food crime and you didn't even realize it. You guys are pizza dumbasses. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to figure out, dude. Like, I'm, I would call myself a pizza... I, I don't like crazy ingredient pizzas. Like, I'm not going to put pineapple on my shit, all right? It's not... I don't think it's horrible. I've never tried it, but I'm not I'm not about to do it, all right? But, like, I I do love pizza. I, I, I know my pizza to some extent. I usually make a point whenever I go to a new city to look out for the best pizza place there and go to it, you know? I, I will do that because I'm a pizza fiend. Pineapple equals crazy ingredient. No, it's just like not something I really want to eat. Like I like my pizzas a certain way. I've tried a lot of condiments and like not condiments, but like toppings on pizza. And I like I've eaten enough pizza that I know that I don't really want pineapple on it. You know, like I've I've done enough pizza in my time to know that like I don't really want that. You know, anchovy pizza. All right, chat. Anchovies are legitimately fucking awesome on a lot of things, and people give them a bad rap. Stabbed, dead, killed. Anchovies handled properly are fucking amazing. If handled properly, they're salty. But when used on the right things, they are an excellent, excellent addition to a meal. Like a Caesar salad with, like, chicken. Like chopped up chicken in it. Add some anchovies on top of that, and you got yourself a fucking banging Caesar salad. All right, you got yourself a banging Caesar salad. All right. Banging. All right, we've made a lot of money. So I'm going to do that. It's like, just don't, like, hell, here's the thing, though. I'm a little bit biased, because if, if I had an anchovy in front of me, I would probably eat it straight at the same time, because I just like fish, and I like anchovies. But I don't do that because they're incredibly salty. Like, they're not meant to be eaten like that, <laughs> to be fair. So, I wouldn't follow my instructions on that one. Uh, but I, 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 I'm not sardines, though. I don't do sardines. I can't do sardines. I've had sardines, like, once, and I was like, oh, this is going to kill me. I'll never do it. But anchovies, though, anchovies are fucking good shit. Anchovy is a key ingredient in any real Caesar salad dressing anyways. Exactly. It's just like adding a little bit more to that. Like olives. I'm bringing it back, chat. All right, motherfuckers. Because there was a lot of people last time I brought up olives that were like, olives are a devil food, is what people were saying. And I don't... I still stand by that. Olives are like a perfect fucking food. That go on like so much shit. And there were a lot of people giving it shit. A lot of people giving me olive grief, dude. Yeah. And I'm remembering all the names. So I can destroy them later at my own convenience. We've almost gotten through everything on the on the market today. Mushrooms are the worst topping. Prove me fucking wrong. Uh I'm not going to take the easy one and say pineapple because 
I haven't tried it, so I don't I don't like saying like, oh, this is a bad topping because I haven't tried it. But uh oh. Hey! Hey! Give me a fucking die! Mushrooms are fucking awesome, and I only started to realize that recently, chat. Over the last like year, I've exposed myself to mushrooms and different kinds of mushrooms in different kinds of meals. And mushrooms, when prepared properly, are fucking amazing. Like incredible. Incredible. They go so well in like so much shit. Problem is that I don't think mushrooms are meant to be eaten straight. And I think when people try mushrooms for the first time and they decide that they hate them, it's because they saw a mushroom, they put it in their mouth, and they ate it with nothing else with it. And just crunched down on it and were like, oh, this is just this, huh? And then they just like fucking were like, oh, I hate them. They're meant to be mixed with things and eaten in the same bite with other stuff, you know? Also, mushrooms should not be rubbery. If you cooked it properly, a mushroom shouldn't just be like a rubbery fucking thing, you know? Let's continue to haggle on this trumpet. A little bit more. Yes. Yes. Honey on pizza is good. Never tried it. It's like, it's just like, I don't know. I don't like sweetness on my pizza. Like that, that's going to sound like oddly specific, but like, it's just like, I don't really like my pizza sweet. I like it. I'm not, I'm not really into that kind of thing on my pizza. I usually avoid like certain kinds of peppers on my pizza. I don't like green and red peppers and shit like that on my pizza because they typically like, even though they're not necessarily sweet, they sort of guide it to a more sweet sort of flavor. And I don't like that on my Zaz, you know? Like bell peppers and stuff. Usually put it closer to like a sweeter sort of flavor. I like my, I like salty and savory. Is this almost over? Is the sale nightmare almost over? Buffalo chicken pizza? Dude, if I don't get the fucking pesto one tonight, I'm gonna get the buffalo chicken, cause that shit, the, the place that I get my pizzas from has a mean fucking buffalo chicken pizza game. A mean buffalo chicken pizza game. It's ridiculous. They've got a fucking wild buffalo chicken game. What about corn on pizza? Eh, I'd do it. It's not like a it's not like a fucking like topping where I would say, please put corn on my pizza. But if I ordered like a specialty pizza that's made a certain way, like I'm not gonna be like, oh what the fuck they put corn on my pizza. I would try it and trust that whoever made the pizza knows what they're doing, you know? That's everything this place has done. Let's go to the big bidding war, chat. It's time for the war. Or we go to, or we go to the Moses Bang and we get the alligator. What are we thinking, chat? Do we do the, do we do the bidding war, or do we go do the alligator thing at Evil Swamp? War, war. I want to see the war. Welcome to Barn Finders. Miko Company has the pleasure to invite you to our special event, the Bid Wars. Here you will be able to show off your skill and keen eye. See you there. P.S. Don't forget to bring a lot of money. That's right! I'm bringing $7,000, so I should be definitely good on money. I'm guessing what we do is we guess the value of an item, like legit. Which is fun, which sounds fun. I hope it's like that. Oh, it's totally like that. That's a nice fucking car. War. Here you can show off your skill in series of small auctions. The winner is the person with the most valuable stuff found in storages. Winner of the bid wars gets a special prize, the big machine. How much is the big machine worth? It's like yelling at me. Start the bid wars? No. I'm not ready to start the bid wars. This one's protected by a force field. That looks like a very valuable one. I mean, I think I... 
I think I bid for all of these and then I start the bid wars, right? Okay. That's like only worth like $400. The pirate's treasure! See you all in hell. I think they want you to pick the most expensive one. It's gonna be the pirate's treasure. Give me a fucking break. One. Two, what's stopping me from buying all of them? And then winning. Did I seriously win with 375? Wow. An extremely easy win. I'd also like to bid on this one. Wow, I guess I'm gonna win these all real easy like this. I hope you are poor. I'm not, ma'am. I'll see you in hell. I'll see you all in hell. This place smells like death. That's right. That one's trash. I'm not going to pay for that one. Gmart got fucked here last night. Do you want a tip? You can just buy everything but loot the lockers between each. What do you mean? I'm not... I'm not sure what you mean. I think I'm doing it right. I mean, either way, I will make money from these things that I purchased. Whether I win the war or not. You know? I'm not sure I take the stuff out yet? Oh, no, I get it. Auctions won two. I'm just gonna win every auction and earn all of the money and win the whole game. Yeah. If I own everything, no one else can make any money. So I'm just gonna win every single op auction in the game. That's easy. Take it all out first? Yeah, I'm aware. I just did that. I just checked the UI. I can do that. Surrender to my money! Yes. You're all pathetic. If I have ever if I win every auction, they have no choice but to surrender. Yes. Next. And then I'll win a car. Chat, I mathematically can't lose if I own every single source of money for the event. <laughs> I could bring out like one $5 coupon and I'd win the event because no one else will ever have anything because I win this part. Yeah, surrender. Surrender your fucking money. But you wouldn't make as much money. Wrong. It's not about... Chad, it's not about making money. It's about flexing on the poor. You know what I'm saying? It's about flexing on the poor. Everyone already gave up. Watch this. One more flex and it's over. Surrender. Surrender! Wench! Yes! Yes! There's another day on the- It looks like I win! Or I guess he wins. Did he win or did I win? Did he just win? Oh, I guess he won. Well, wait, I did win. I got it. I think. I don't know. 
T1? Well, that'd be a stupid mechanic, but I mean, frankly, the car's $800, chat. <laughs> I'm more of here for the stuff that's selling for much more in here. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take this stuff. So stuff in here. The car's worth $800. i am gonna take the stuff that the fucking broad deer's worth more money than the car is. I'm here for the hidden treasures. Like this fucking crossbow. Yes. We make our money back on this pretty much immediately. All these... All these boxes. Chat, we made way more money than the car, like in one. The car was free though. We got basically every item in the whole game from room one over here. Every taxidermy is in this one right now. How much money am I gonna make out of all of this? I just earned a thousand from the first one. I just did the math on it. Okay. Okay. Yes, show me the money! Show me that fucking billion dollars! Show me that billion dollars! I paid a lot of money on this one. And this guy's like T-posing at me. <laughs> Fucking move. Oh my god. How much did I pay? This is the one I paid the most for, wasn't it? Chat. This one was the one I paid the most for. I don't think I've gotten one item out of it. Oh my fucking lord. This was an unfortunate day. For this room. The most valuable thing was a can I found on the inside. Alright, so that's like the goofball one that scams you. They should probably explain this uh, system for the bid war better then, if I didn't actually get the car. Considering I owned literally every source of money and everyone had zero dollars, it should automatically then automatic it should automatically then give it to whoever has the most auctions one. You know? I believe you had to sell something. Well, that's stupid considering the guy who won also didn't sell anything. So. <laughs> It should then not give me anything until I've then sold something, you know? Whatever, we we make our money back on the on the thing in total, I think. We'll see. We might be we might have lost like a thousand bucks, but what's the what was it really matter? Creepy fucking doll. Someone will buy it. This one was pretty good for money. Tony Bunny. Okay. That one's clear. Next is this hardware one. It's gonna take eons to get all this stuff on shelves, dude. Jeez, look at all these fucking resources. It's a metal. We will have. We've operated on a slight loss of by like a, about a thousand five hundred dollars at the end of all this. But you know what? We won. We won what was most important, which was chat, which was of course flexing on the pores, like I said. So at the end of the day. Gang, I feel like I'm a winner. Because I flexed on those pores like it was no one's fucking business. Really showed him a thing or two. Hundred 
hundred dollars. These amount of stuff in here that we couldn't see. This is like the secret treasure where like at the end of the day, this was the most valuable thing of all because we couldn't see what was actually in there until we went in. And we realized there's a bunch of really weird books. Okay, actually I think we made, we only lost like 400 to $500 I think at the end of this. How much did we go in with? Like 7,200 to 300? We didn't lose that much. We definitely weren't over a thousand. Well, a thousand more than that. We definitely weren't over like 8,000 8, or anything like that. It was like 7K. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if it gives me all my money now. Miko fuel is greener than the others, so you can use it without Miko. feeling guilty about killing. Just can't believe I didn't get credit for this. Stupid mechanic, shitty level, dumb game. This game sucks. I hate it. Oh. Hundred dollar secret thing I didn't even see in the pile. All right, we're done here. Let's go. We'll just leave. Wasn't that rule written on the ramp up at the car? It doesn't count how much you spend on storage. Winner gets a spend. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know that doesn't count, but logically, no one else spent any money at all. 0, $0.00 dollars. Therefore, the game should automatically, by default, go to the person who owns the most auctions. That's that's a dumb mechanic because the person who won had zero dollars as well. <laughs> you know? I'm getting out of here. I hate the game now. Do I have to unload all these things? Oh Jesus. Well, We can make a lot of money off of all these guys. He hates the game. I hate being ripped off by the game. Just start selling stuff. We need to make $5,000 to go to the next map. That's, that's what's most important now. And we definitely have enough to do that. But, God, I need more large pallets, dude. Just gonna sell them all in order instead of waste time like trying to grab what is and isn't the most valuable, etc. No, the big one. What does upgrading the display stands do? I'm not sure. Oh, I can actually sell this now. Hey, nice. I don't have to send it to someone anymore. I can actually sell it. Medium. Crossbow. This is going to sell for a lot. I mean, I can't actually... We'll just throw this in the corner. This will go into the, the sinful corner. Like this thing. No one's gonna- no one would ever buy this in a million fucking years. I don't care how cool it looks. That's so big. Now, Mr. Fox, on the other hand. Manually stacking shelves. I have to. I don't have a choice. Unless I do. At which point I don't want to know. Everything goes in this garbage corner. Welcome to hey, at least all the stuff was in like mint condition. <laughs> Welcome to my garbage bin. Thank you for coming. Please disregard the garbage. Creepy doll. Add to the pile.
This isn't this isn't even like the finished version of this fucking horse toy. It's just missing most of the parts. It's a stool now. It's supposed to be like a fucking full thing. But it's just like a stool now. Sad. I can't believe I'm gonna sell that. Sad bunny. Into the pile with the others. You bought it? True. I guess in the grand scheme of things, I did buy it. Huh. That's sad. You know, honestly, I should probably just do this during the day because then uh, people will be coming in and buying stuff and I can just do it all at the same time. <laughs> Tuesday. Big day today, Jet. Lots of money to be made. Garbage pile. This is another big item. Nothing that I can hang up on shelves, dude. That's what's annoying. You'd think I'd be able to hang that. Can't even hang these lunch boxes, and they have handles. How? Huh? Ma'am, I see you're here to buy this nice fucking thing. Take it. We got so much shit here to sell. Just like get it off the fucking shelf so I can grab something else and throw it down on there. Come here. Next thing on the line. Hey, man. I mean, man. Oh, you want to buy the creepy fucking baby doll? Okay. I see you're like a haunted doll connoisseur or something. Take it. Get out of here. For a hundred dollars, I can't believe he fucking bought that garbage. Uh, murder saw. Someone else gonna be coming in to steal my shit in a minute. You wanna buy that vase? You wanna buy- just take it, take it, get it out of my sight! And don't talk to me anymore! Buy that plant? Buy that- buy this nice fucking plant? Be gone. Plant wench. Are you a full-time streamer now at Tomato? Nah, this is a this is a weekend thing that I do off weekends because I lost control of my life. <laughs> Pay more, more, more. All right, fine. We're getting our money back, chat. We still have to make sure we get 5,000 for the fucking, for the bid, for the auction, for the next house. Another fucking wheel of trash here. So much shit, dude. That bid war was a lot of garbage. Come here. Oh my god, whatever. Wanna buy another lunchbox? Yeah, you want that lunchbox. Take it. Go. You want to buy an old-fashioned TV set for extra? I'm going to need even more than that, sir. Even more. I want it really badly, he says. 290 fucking dollars. An instant steal, chat. Throw this right on it. This big fucking, like, lifter. This thing is really fighting me on being carried, chat. I can barely move it. Jesus. This is like bugged. There we go. I got it for a second. There we go. This isn't worth my time. You didn't even tell me what you wanted to buy, you. I didn't know what she wanted. Take it and go. Oh, he also left. Fuck these people, dude. Fuck them all. They can all burn. I think someone's currently stealing my shit. Oh, 
I'm just gonna leave that in the middle of the fucking clearing. Another nice necklace. They should put the fucking storage a little bit closer to the store, for my sanity's sake. Hop. Man. Doing some heavy lifting. Yeah, I got you on that. Yep. Take it. And go. Ah, uh, you want the you want the naughty stag. Pay more. Oh, that's it. Okay, go. All right, we've almost got our 5,000 back. We barely even sold half of the stuff that we did on that fucking mission. So. Nice. Though I will say I wish more people would show up. Because we have so much shit to sell. We need more people to show up at the store. Another sad fucking horse toy. You want this nice chair? Take it. I probably don't need to haggle on these really low value things, huh? But I will haggle on Butch the Champion, because he deserve he's earned it. He deserves it. We'll Oh hey. Let's haggle on rope. Imagine haggling on rope. <laughs> And the guy is so jazzed about winning the rope for more money than it's worth that he starts pelvic thrusting in front of you for the rope. Extension cord, even worse. That's not better. If it's an extension cord, it's up there with Kraken paying like a thousand dollars for like a fucking HDMI cord, you know what I'm saying? It's like the same vein. I, I wonder if he was doing that when he got- when he got fucking hey. literally scammed. <laughs> uh, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Ah, you want the lovely clock. Be gone. Alright, we're almost to the big stuff. So much shit. Right, it's gonna take us eons to solve this stuff. I might as well just like leave it all in the corner and go on the next job, you know? Cause like, oh my, was it seriously just you who showed up? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, we're going to the next place. It's another fucking event though. No! Let's go to Evil Swamp. We have exactly enough money to be eligible. As long as we bid properly, we should win. God save us if we don't, we lose like $600 on gas. You need a bit more than 5k? I don't think you've ever been a fucking master auctioneer like me. Alright. You are not alone. Besides, I didn't need exactly how much it told me on the last one. I actually got it for a bargain. So, uh, chat, you're, you're all crazy. It's actually RNG, so I might luck out. Evil Swamp. How stupid! How could you be this stupid, Kalidas? <laughs> the alligator taxi. I'm a genius. Shut up and put your money. Put your money up. Put your guns up. Come on. It's all about small ones, chat. Okay, we're actually starting pretty high. Uh, 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 Oh! Give up, pansies! Fuck you! Cave! You don't have what it takes to win against the greatest auctioneer ever! Oh wait, I think I'm losing. Oh wait, I'm winning! I'm winning! You're gonna need at least a thousand more dollars to win the level, Tomato Gaming. I, I know this game. I know this game. Hey, man, I won it on a bargain again. Could you imagine? 
Could you imagine winning for less money than the place is even worth twice? Because you're fucking... Welcome you're so imposing. Your Does it make you mad? To know? You can't keep getting away with it? I'm not even getting away with anything. I'm just being the best. Just like I was during Monkey Ball Chat. I just... I'm just casually being the best there ever was. Come on, let's hang out all around. Let's die in the evil swamp. So why did we buy this stuff? <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> now that's a smart, now that's a good question. Uh, uncle? Uh, eh. Oh, it made a sound. I thought we were getting like I thought he just got eaten. I thought he like slipped into the water. Okay, how do I get in here? I guess the front door. If, if there was one. Hello? Green lady? Did I miss the- Oh, here it is. It was blending. I love small amounts of money. Probably one of my favorite things in the world. They're gone. The spooky ghost is gone. Yeah, but this is all well and good and all, but what do you have for me to flip and sell? You know what I'm saying? What do you got for me to sell? Because this is all cool, like the spooky thing you're going for, but what? how can I make money out of this? I spent $5,000 on this. It's like, where are you hiding the, like, the capital? You know? Where's the money? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is nice, but like, here it fucking is. That's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. Stuff that I can sell. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's all cool that this place is trying to do a thing, but like, I'm just thinking, you know, from the, the perspective of a guy who just spent $5,000 on this. Like, get these bones out of the way. We can re- we can resell that fucking- that cat cage, chat. We can resell that, it's not over yet. Come. Pants, easily sold. A guitar. Mine now. Imagine just breaking into someone's fucking, like, ghost house and they watch as you not only don't get spooked by everything around you, but pick up their shit to sell it online. And you're helpless to stop him as a ghost. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. I want to sell this fucking, this family heirloom for $5 on eBay. Mine now. And fucking, like, just ripping this shit off the goddamn walls like it's nothing. Cutting down most of... At what point do you lose your spiritual connection to the fucking plane when, like, the most important thing in your house is, like, your skull that you left on your nightstand before you died, and then this guy just fucking destroys it? And it's like, I need three strings out of that! And he just fucking pockets it. And, like, then you start disappearing because the guy just broke your fucking, like, tether to reality. I knew it. Sort of creepy. I'd like to get in there. Like, <laughs> completely unfazed. I'm just going to find my way in there now. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'll get in there in time. You'll see. I'll be back. 
Bubba, Delilah. Wait. Wait a minute. Bubba, Delilah, and Turbo Calf, they were all out front. They're people. Uh, that's a picture of all of them. Bubba, Delilah, Turbo Calf, you guys still out here? Ma will not like this. It's all Cletus's fault. Gators are great for transport. Maybe they're just like normal people. And there's nothing really that weird about it. Our family history sold to Miko. Oh. Oh, it's just their family history. It's not a big deal. It's just their old swamp. They don't, they're not dead. They're just, they're just the old owners. You think I can traverse? I think I have to. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to throw up. Help me. Okay. Yes. Recognize the difference in our power, chat. Now. I'm coming in. Creepy fucking thing. That'll definitely scare the guy off. He's not going to come any further and... Just this fucking guy just, just starts fucking smashing everything on the desk. Picks up their fucking, like, cooler. Immediately throws it out the window. It's already in the truck. Doesn't care. Doesn't care about fucking family heirlooms or ghosts. Just after that dosh. I tear the fucking posters off the walls. I grab their fucking sodas. I grab it all. I don't even need this. This is like pennies to me, and I still take it anyways. Bucket. Cosmo helmet. Mine. Now sell it. Yes. Nice wheel. Mine. Calculator. Also mine. What else we got around these parts? Taxi! Taxi! Alright. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Both of you, very kind of you to take me on this journey. Hey. Have a good day, now. Oh, there's more. These dig spots never work out. Hey. Bro. You just... Don't mind me, just a bit swamped, kiddo. Okay. Yeah, but what's what's in it for me? Where's my money? Again, cool and all. How do I flip this for cash? <laughs> They're never gonna try to buy Jessica. They'll they'll freak out when they see Jessica. Fucking throw it in the throw it in the bin with the others, Uncle. Same with this dagger. Throw it in the bin. <laughs> What do I care? Last I checked, ghosts can't fucking purchase things at my store. So what do I give a fuck? Why would I care about what they think? All right. What was that? What did I just break? Eh, doesn't matter now. <laughs> I'm like a ghost's worst nightmare, dude. 
What was that? I just shattered. Yeah, whatever. Gotta get some money out of this one after all. <laughs> okay. I hated that they did that whole sound effect. That wasn't me recreating anything. That was me wincing and dying a little from the sounds. Ah, yes. I'm coming in there. Yeah, whatever. Come here, Moses. I'm getting you out of here. I need to spring you. Yeah, those ghosts really should have like grown a pair and tried to get me, dude, or cause I'm just like really taking everything that's theirs. Literally all of it. It's mine now. Gonna make me a lot of money this round. Shame it's so dark though, it's really hard to see like items, dig spots especially. Hello? Okay. Huh. Fat king coin, that's being taken. Give me that. Anything else you wanna hide from me? Looks like we might be in the clear now. It's a long croc taxi over there. I went to that toilet. I will never forget that toilet, actually, so I definitely know that one. And what does this take? Back to the front. Cool. I want to take the taxi a little bit further because I know that croc taxi goes a little bit farther down the way. I need to know where. There's still like two or three items. What are we doing? Take me. Take me on an adventure, Crocodile Chan. You got a key at some point, right? That was for the treehouse. Okay. Thank you. Nice fishing rod. There it is, baby. The mother of all items. That's gonna do me a lot of good. We're still missing one item, though. And I think I just got everything in this area. All right. Return me, crocodile. Wasn't there a thing in the cage? There better be a thing in the fucking cage, chat. You guys are actually, like, all going to be in, like, gruesome trouble. I don't see a cage here. So what cage are you talking about? Oh, yeah, the cage in the main room, the bathroom. how to get in there but I also didn't think I saw an item in there I think that was a fucking wallpaper chat to be honest I don't think there was a pick up thing in there please please oh my god get back here This is annoying. This is extremely annoying. 
so greedy. I don't believe I should be killed in any situation, any video game, by touching two inches of water. I think that's dumb. Crocodile goes too slow. Hurry up. Of course I'm going to want to fucking, like, floor it. Look at him. I was gonna see if I could like go load a checkpoint. Hang on. Fuck this. F fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. Trap. Oh my god. Oh yeah? What's that one over there? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Put me on it. Where's this one taking me? This one's going like fast. I want to know where he's going. Where are we going? Where are we going? What the fuck do you think this is? I could walk. I could have walked there. You're a shitty taxi. What's that? Fuck you, game. All right, go fuck yourself, game. <laughs> maximum. That's called. That's a pro gamer play, chat. That's like. That's the maximum gamer play. Did you see that? Fucking God, I'm free. Okay. So. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, no, this is actually worthless junk. I assumed that was something because it looked really nice and big. But was, in fact, trash. Go figure. Apologize to him? No. I don't think so on that. Okay, so that's a person's head. That's not very valuable. I don't see anything of valuable value in here. Clock? Nope. Bolted to the wall. Th this is in there, but it's not a pick upable item in the sense that it's going to give me completion for the level. It's just like another collectible. open all these I get the weird feeling what I'm looking for is like a dig spot on the main path that I missed you know still curious how I would get in there Weird. I guess the roof. I think there might be roof access to this place. Using this or something. I don't care. I don't think I care enough about one piece of loot though. At all. Yeah, I don't think I care enough to like look for eons at this place. When I need to like order Za, you know? He got a key. I already explained what that key went to though. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't this. 
It was to the it was to the treehouse. Would be the first you missed wrong. I missed one at the beginning of the game too. I don't frankly care though. I never said I was gonna hundred percent the game. You know? Never never really had that crossed my mind. further I got in the game the less I hundred percented it's like looking for a fucking dirty patch in like viscera cleanup detail without having the sniff tool that lets you find it at a certain point when it's a dark level like this like naturally I'm gonna start missing things because I don't want to be playing it for 30 hours a level like there's so much shit that it could be and like it's all dark and hard to see. Oh, the boat's gone now, huh? I have to walk back home because the boat's gone. Because the boat is now currently at uh, at the base. Sort of fucked. It's fucked. Now I gotta, like, do work. Guess it gives me a chance to see if there's any diggable spots again. But I don't think so. Can you use the pentagram? No, but that was a solid reach there. He's got fucking skipped off by the mailbox there. Uh. Eh. This is, uh, this is gonna be annoying. You're not supposed to go in this way, because I don't think the devs expected me to take the boat. To not take the boat back over there. So it's like a, a sort of an awkward jump to get up off of that, off of this plank here. Okay. There's a light switch in the cage room. Even if that's true, I don't think the pick upable items in there. It is true. Yeah, I saw garbage in here. I'm out. I'm outie. I'm outie. I'm not the s wait. No, oh, I'm a I'm the best ever. Yeah. Hey! Hey, it's as simple as that. I was just baiting it out. I was baiting it out. I was luring it. I was luring it out. So I could 100% the whole level. Because I'm one of the greatest. It was, it was filler content. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's unload this stuff. Get it out of the car. Send it. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. It's been a big day. It's been a big day. Another weird, identical dream of my uncle. Using a pig for a pillow. Let's check the mail. Uh, holy ma, is there a awful strong- I cannot fucking read anything you're saying, Enos Beaver. But where's this thing you want me to go to? Miko Studio? How much more game do I have? Gmar, did you beat this game? Hours? Hours. 
He made this game. Oh, I'll take his word for it. Probably have like three or four more hours if you do everything. All right, then we're done. I'm out. We'll play more probably another time. But uh, I got to get food. I'm hungry. It's been five hours. I got stuff going on like tomorrow and stuff. So I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I gotta play other things. We're not doing the longing tonight. I actually need to like go pretty quick here. So I'm gonna jam through the notifications pretty quickly. And then get the fuck out. Alright. Cause I gotta order my saw like right now. It's not gonna be here. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST. I'm gonna be playing a uh, hard space shipbreaker, I think. Uh that's the plan, at least. So I'll be doing hard space shipbreaker, which should be a fun stream. That should be a good time. I've been excited to play that game. So that, that, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Okay, so order it on stream. I'm literally about to chat. The question is, pesto chicken or buffalo? I think I'm feeling like a buffalo kind of night actually tonight. like a buffalo kind of thing yeah it's a buffalo kind of night I'm getting the buffalo yes I'm adding an appetizer because this place has super good food Get it to me. Get it to me. Now. Now. Alright. Notifications time. Let's get let's get through this so I can be gone. And uh move on with my move on with the other shit I gotta take care of today. Uh Elf Dots. Thanks for the 13 months prime. Very kind of you, very kind of you. Erratic cookie thanks with a tier two subscription for 17 months. Thank you. Why people happy? Yes. Shark Missile, six months. Stardust Crusader, zero. Thank you for the 19 months prime. Hershnuff, thank you for the five months prime. Zinni Zoo, thank you for the five months prime as well. Kelfit, thanks for the 12 months. Thanks. Mr. Chaddington, 12, 13. Thank you for the three months. Uh, Madeline DeBoss, eight months prime. Melee, 161, 16 months prime. Thank you. D. Gurren, thank you for the 12 months, Pride. Fiasco, second, five months, thank you. Silent Cinder, 12 months. An entire year subscribing and being part of this community. Time really flies. Still hoping to see you do the John Wick. Maybe next year. I still am not sure what that person wanted me to do when they said that, considering I was playing more time at the time. It wasn't exactly a game where I think you, you really pop off in that way but yeah I guess maybe one day I can do the John Wick I do I'm proud they might be banned I'm not sure if I banned them for spamming them <laughs> but what a legacy they left behind Spy Remo thank you for the 12 months prime Assassin Man 13 thanks for the 10 months prime Madeline DeBoss with fucking 20 gifted subscriptions to the channel Madeline Thank you. Truly a generous, generous donation to me. Thanks. Steak, three months. Smug Dagather, thanks for these two tier 17 month subscription. Thank you very much. If real though, Matt, thank you. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. Thanks. Don't tear, seven months prime. Hey man. Had some work shit go sideways recently, but watching a fellow ginger masshole succeed has been helping us with the pan has been helping with the panic attacks. Hey man, hope shit works out. Thanks. Fellow masshole. Mr. Ryan6262, thanks for the 10 months. Monkey Ball Stream 1. Fucking never. 
Kyvin94, 10 months prime. Sarcastic Fruit, 13 months prime. Chip Dip, Mick Gip, thank you for the 9 months prime. Voltmeter, thank you for the 3 months. Upbot DV8, prime, thank you. Can of Scum, thank you for the gifting of a one sub, thank you. Solar F, 11 months. Egregious Sporty, 10 months. I'm 6'3, so I can easily see out of this pit. It's not six. It's not six feet deep, man. It's six kilometers deep. I'm not sure you were aware. Until now. That's pretty small. Is it though? Is it, is it really? That's pretty deep. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty deep hole, dude. That's pretty deep. I'm not sure you can just peek out of that, dude. Wrecked Riker, thanks for the 19 months. Octavia Vaughn, thanks for this two tier 16 month subscription. Thank you very much. Mended, 11 months prime. One more month to complete the ritual, yes. Littlest Mage, another tier two subscription for three months. Thank you very much. Many thanks for the great streams, Mr. Tomato. Your screams do wonders to calm my nerves. Excellent. Cicero the Wise, thanks for the four months prime. Gorefield, thanks for the three months prime. Zopster, eight months. Deathshire, 94 months. Troinoceros, thanks for the prime. Splargles, 12 months prime. Halo got told, six months prime. Pandamancer, 224, two prime. Kalena, prime. TKWJ, thank you for the two months. MB Pierre, 16 months. I was born in 99, which means I'm a 90s kid, smile. No, you're fucking not. Give it up. Give it up, fucking Zoomer. Unbelievable. You didn't earn it. Give it up. Give it up. No. Yes. Reanimated bit, two months prime. Todd Binger, thank you for the 11. It's foo, five months. Dead trickster, eight months. Thanks. By the time you read this, my present self will have been destroyed and reborn as my past self and my future self will have taken control of this body. Oh. Fox Explorer, thanks for the 13 months prime. Some kind of wizard, thanks for the two months. Bird Bob, eight, four, five months, five months. Just wanted to thank you, Tomato, for entertaining me through the quarantine. It's been fun. No problem, man. No problem. Violet Saber, three months. Love watching your streams, Tamp Toe. Thanks for the good entertainment. Thank you. Fella Knight T, thank you for the seven months prime. Uh, Higmer, thank you for the prime. Gerahad, five months. Satoma, 13 months prime. It's my birthday today, and I'm happy to see a high-quality stream for my favorite gaming channel, Tomato Gaming, trademarked. Thanks for the gift. Technically, though, I'm not trademarked. So anyone could be Tomato Gaming. Literally anyone. Also, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Moses the Talking Frog, uh, 10 months prime. Rocket Bird, Rocket Bird 262 months prime. Thank you, Matt Dragon, 75 months prime. Thank you. Praise the sun, 12 months. 12 months, eh? Where is the time gone? No, seriously, where is it? What have you done with it? That's a year of my life, you son of a bitch. Give it back. Give it back. I, I, got, I got rid of that guy. You guys aren't going to have to worry about them anymore. I took the rest of their time. Broken Table, thanks for the 17 months. Sejaxian, thanks for the tier 2 subscription. 18 months, thank you very much. Crocbane, 15 months. Spiteful Snowman, 2 months prime. Bitstar Fox, 5 months prime. Uh, Hydrated Suck, 12 months prime. The most cursed name I've ever fucking imagined in my whole life, how dare you. Sprizzle, thanks for the 18 months. Menator, thank you for the 3 months. Anonymous, gifting us up, thank you. Recon, Recon 3 Li 3 T. It's some gamer speak. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it like that. Thanks for the prime, man. Gaming dwarves, thanks for the 12 months. Tanto, one year has arrived. I love your streams. Thanks. Ski 0203, three months prime. Salmon Banger, thank you for the two months prime. King Olaf, three months. Mini Quinny, 13 months prime. Major Shazbot, 17 months prime. 
Clown shoes. Just needed to say that. Just to be clear, it has nothing to do with you, Tomato. Just needed to say it wrong. You know what has something to do with me, you fucking asshole. Oh, big mistake. You're coming at me for my 13 wides? On this beautiful day? Scared Toaster, thanks for the five months. Is that Super Monkey Ball 2 Air Hockey Master Tomato 2 Bananas Gaming Pog? It's this one in the same. Baruby? Six months prime, a happy duck, 64. Thanks for the four months. Purple Skies! Five gifted subscriptions to the channel. Thank you very much. Purple Skies. Dark Nexus, four months. Hex Omega, 17. Seven months. Freely, three months. Obnoticus the third, prime. Jambini, seven months prime. It's so mellow. Three months. Hey, be nice. Fourteen months. Some of the prices for old barn junk actually seems realistic. People go crazy for that stuff. Yeah, I know. It's fucking weird. Dude. Makura Wukong. Eight months prime. Hello, Mr. Tomato. I got your truck full of Taco Bell. Quiet. Don't ask how I got in here. But you might want to hide the bodies upstairs. See ya. I didn't order this. You keep showing up in my house. You keep bringing bodies. I don't have as much acre. I don't have as much acreage beyond my, like my yard to hide corpses anymore chat we can't keep leaving them here. has to be a better way we should do what elon's doing and just like make an entire space company in order to dispose of any evidence he ever has that he needs to get rid of quickly and discreetly by calling it cargo alien yeti thanks for the subscription Chef Gooby, thanks for the 19 months. Very kind of you. Mutant Badger, 15 months. Oh, boy. I'm finally back from being abroad. Can't wait to go home and return working on my antique road toaster. Man, if anything happened to my road toaster, I think I would go fucking insane. Maybe more than once. Uh, um, uh, Purple Skies, thank you for the thousand bits. Dootster, 13 months. Kneesling, thank you for the two months. Karzak, four months. Thank you. Easy Gorilla, thanks for the 16 months. Purple Skies, another 100 bits, thank you. Enderman Samurai, thank you for the five months prime. Hey, Tamto, just graduated from high school and I'm ready to go to college this fall. Pray to me that I won't be in crippling debt afterwards. TBH, though, I think I'm good since I'm obtaining an actual degree that actually needs a college education. Hey, man, good luck out there. Good luck out there. Good luck out there. Congratulations. Prejudice Pain, thanks for the prime. Sexy Dinosaur, thanks for the 11 months prime. Listen, Tamto, I don't have much time. There's a deal going on for pizza right now. The code is... The cr the coos. Thank you for the two months. Lunch a box. Thanks for the 13 months. See Daddy Hudson, thanks for the prime as well. Allenson, thank you for the 100 bits. I played Goon Station last night for the first time after watching some basic tutorial. Janner seemed easy, so I went with that. Long story short, me and two other Janners beat a clown to death for writing on the floor and killing the only guy who complimented us. Then, as the rest of the station started their shit, we slowly yeeted them all out of the airlocks and into walls at the speed of sound. Don't fuck with the janitors. Janners got some fucked up shit, dude. Janners can easily become one of the scariest fucking enemies in the game. Don't fuck with the janitorial team. Hunter12, thanks for the five months. On the topic of food, have you had authentic buffalo wings? I'm a snob for them myself. I've had them once or twice, like good wings from a really good wing place, but not recently. Mythfen, thanks for the 19 months. Vodon, thanks for the 19 months as well. Sunari, thanks for the five months. Game Hunter 1331 thanks for the 10 months bride. 10 months bride. Tunnel Whale, Prime, Arctic Scape, 12 months, Prime, Shinzilla, 7 months, a Ratatouille, thanks for the 19 months. Did you do it? Did you win? What did it cost you? Also, love your content, keep it up. It cost me everything. Salsa Blanca, thanks for the 12 months. A whole year, what do you get me, Tamto? Uh, um, uh, Skeletus, thanks for the 3 months, Prime. You brighten up my days, I catch, you brighten up my days, I catch your streams, Tomato. Keep up. The being, the being the you, you are. Oh, that was cursed as fuck. Thanks. Cryptid Kelp, thanks for the two months. Stuffy Bubby, nine months prime. There's nothing special about this day. Nothing at all. Much love. Appreciate you. Thanks. 
Wheezy Mocha 87, gifting a sub, thank you. Silver Thorns, gifting five subs, thank you very much. Little Viking 83, six months. Marl 500, subscription, thank you. Team Man Dob, thank you for the Prime Adeptus Mini Storm, thanks for the 19 months. I think my tomato is petrified. Of course, it feels like a stone when I try to eat it. Don't put it in your mouth anymore, it's gone. It's dead. Marine 2442, thanks for the four months. Dr. Trabop, thanks for the 17 months. 69, thank you for the six bucks. Hehe, <laughs> smile. What'd you do? Petricora B, thanks for the 16 months. My villagers started saying Pog on my Animal Crossing Island. I made a mistake, they won't stop. I sometimes wonder what my villagers are up to. I didn't give them a way off of their island. I plugged it up with toilets long ago. So surely they can't escape. I haven't turned it on since the Easter event started. I abandoned them. If they started saying Pog, I wouldn't even know. It's better this way, I think. Because, like, I have so much more time to play other games and not play a game meant to kill me and take my body and replace it when, my, when I expire from this world. <laughs> Just like his Neopets. <laughs> So I'm going to do that Neopets stream one of these days where we start at the beginning. I immediately start the Wheel of Monotony and we don't stop the stream until that wheel's done. All right, but that day ain't today. It, it ain't today. It'll be one day, though. One day. Thanks for the sub. All right, chat. I'm going to be raiding. I reckon... Uh, it's gonna be weird because it's on emote only mode, but I'm gonna raid Sam. He's playing uh, He's playing the last of us today uh, I Felt nothing for this game as a game, but I loved the fucking I liked the story a lot So I'm gonna raid him. He just started it. So uh Well, I don't know if he just started it, but he's at the he's in his first session. So going out with Sam I'll catch you. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow or three. No four four p.m. We're gonna be playing uh, hard space shipbreaker uh, it's been a pleasure. So long. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.